Hello? Man Thai. Oh, Oh, Hey. Jesus. Oh, my God. You saw it. Sound. Did you see that? Did Don't they sound like that? Already. Did you guys even know what it sound like? Hey, I'm getting you guys hot. Put hey, your phones you're down for bumps right you now? You guys are fucking horny. <laughs> hey, Joe, come on. He's trying to be good. It's supposed to be like a sad story, you guys. You guys are the ones who are going to your night down. And you know what he feels about Dodger jerseys? I know. You guys, it's Kobe Bryant's birthday. And his wife. Come on, keep it real. I'm sweating already. Wacko, let's know when we're ready. Happy birthday to Kobe Bryant. Wow, what wow, we're on. Thanks. Yeah, you guys, we've been, oh, we've been like, on 3-2-1. One. Wow, you can't do nothing without Brian. Off, we, do, we don't Where's pay Brian him at? to do the three, two, one. Oh. Right? Wait, we're paying him still? That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's start the <laughs> show. BJ's. Welcome to Street Scholars, <laughs> everybody. I'm your girl, Sammy Joe the Fox. Damn. You can go around and say, oh, yeah, if you want. Sammy. If not, mm. I guess everybody knows everybody, you. Everybody, welcome knows back you to Street Scholars. We got a fucking amazing, another amazing oh, guest. Yeah, so we got to show make up for our first guest. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Sammy <laughs> Joe. Uh, I don't want to say who got her. <laughs> I don't know. She, she followed uh, no May. names. Because <laughs> we, we know you're a big family guy. I thought she was in a lane, but she followed no names. Anyway, we're back. Um, I think the last two we hit really good. Yes, uh, Breaking yes, Bears, you yes. know, Officer Tillman. Mm-hmm. And, yes. Arnold, uh, Breaking Bad? Arnold, Arnold was Barbosa. Breaking Bad. What? Did you say Breaking Bad? <laughs> Don't we can turn back, bro. Don't talk to me about hey, meth already, stop. dog. He's like, yeah, blue meth. <laughs> <laughs> can we open up the <laughs> show? Oh, oh, right. Keep going. Keep going. Right Keep going. Now. Keep going. you say? Bad. You said bad. Breaking, Breaking barriers. barriers. Damn, dog. They, they, she get those withdrawals, perro. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this guy's crazy right here. Are you sure he's not on one right now? I'm sweating right now, dog. <laughs> they, by the way, this I, is I about a testimony coming. Yeah, I'm just playing. Okay, okay. Now, now tell your testimony. Go no, ahead. Right now, yeah, not, <laughs> no, no, no. Guys, what, listen, everybody. Walk hey, right back. Yes. You have to ease into it. Fool, can we start the fuck over? Let's start over. We all know how to do drugs. Take a look. Rewind. Okay, rewind it. Go for it. Ready? Hey. Welcome to Street Scholars. We have an amazing, beautiful guest. This is your host, G Money. Your host, Rocky Nass. Sammy Joe. And our beautiful guest, Fernando Vasquez, a.k.a. <laughs> previously known Mr. Olympia. There, hey. there we go. Oh, that's that's, good. that's an you, intro. That's how you well, started. We'll get into your story in a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, but yes. if you want to jump into the um, beginning of the show, we do a big deal, not, not a, a big, big deal. deal. So our first topic today is Wacko. He thought it was pictures of dicks. Is this a big deal? <laughs> yeah. is this not a big deal? <laughs> Today's topic for big deal, not a big deal is would you spank check your child? Did you have to say spank? <laughs> Discipline your child in public. Oh, all of a sudden now you you don't like the word spank. <laughs> Just whoop them. <laughs> whoop that trick. Get okay. home. Would you house. discipline your child in public? <laughs> Is disciplining your child in public a big deal or not a big deal? Right. <clears throat> I'll start off. I have a thing with my son. Now, I mean, I don't hit my son anymore. I feel like he's t- if my son is too big to get spanked on the butt. And he's in boxing right now. He'll be yeah, stressed. Yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> he has a bigger foot than me now. <laughs> you're just but, saying uh, this now because you're scared. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no but I, I feel like he's too big for me to spank on the butt, so I'm not going to hit him. Yeah. But my son, we always had a thing where... If you embarrass me in public, I'm gonna fucking embarrass you more. So you wanna act stupid in public, I'll act more stupid. And you could do that. Oh like, yeah. You know me. You're gonna win uh, every time. <laughs> so I mean, I don't think it's a it's a big deal, but I mean in front of people, like I mean, I would take my son to the bathroom. I go, hey fool, wanna go to the bathroom right now? You know, if you didn't get fucked up. Yeah. That's a real shit. He goes, Oh no, daddy, no, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I go, but I'll whoop him in a uh, in bathroom in a public fucking place, but not like I'm not going to put a show on for fucking people. No. And, and people have phones now. And I'm a big deal, so I don't want people recording me. Yeah. Um, I, as <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're going off of. We're yeah, yeah. Off of video. I mean, as for me, like, my son, I don't have to discipline him in that way anymore. Sweet angel. Does my son need a fucking reality check here and there? Fuck yeah. But it's that look, and it is that, hey, do you want to go outside or you want to go to the garage? Like, it's that fucking simple. Would I hit him in public? Hell fucking no. Yeah. It's not right. Yeah. It's uncomfortable for other people and it just looks bad. It looks like I can't do my job, period, as a parent. Yeah. There's no reason, and especially this is between me and my son, my family. No other stranger should witness my son getting hit. Don't put on a show it's for not, people. It's not a show. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Do kids need to get disciplined? Fuck yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, agree. Fuck yeah, they do. I'm going to tell you right now. A lot of these kids right now, they're, they're not getting the discipline they used to no more and it fucking shows. But... I'm telling you, you don't got to do it all the fucking time. Yeah. You know, if you do it right and you let them know, you give them that look now. Mm-hmm. And my son knows. He'll be right away like, I can call him show right now look. and he'll say, show yes, me, show dad. Me the look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. It works <laughs> on bottles too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in, in public, <laughs> fuck no. 
in public, don't look at me you're like that. you're because <laughs> you'll get horny. Oh, hey, hey. in public, it it's unnecessary. Oh. Wait, was that a snore? Oh, hey, that's what I'm used to, Pedro. Oh, that's God. what the whole podcast is about, dog. No. I didn't know there was coke here. Um, <laughs> no, not anymore. Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I Sammy, yeah. Sammy Joe, go ahead. He snorted my story, too. <laughs> snorted the point. Oh, my God. <laughs> I agree, with, I agree with G Money, just to bring it back. Okay, I agree with G Money. No, I really do. I, no, I agree with G Money, but also, too, this came from a video that went viral of a man who hit his daughter. And apparently, everybody came out to say, like, this man's always hitting his daughter. Nobody does shit on the street about it. Like, they see a bunch of people. So, what do you think about that part? Like, if you've seen some man just knock his daughter one, like, what would you do? Well, like, if I see him smack his daughter, I'm not going to say nothing. That's his fucking kid. But if he, like, close fists his fucking daughter, yeah. I'm going to have to be like, hey, bro, this is not the fucking time or the place. Take that shit inside. For sure. As a man, right? And as a dad. If he keeps pounding on her, me as a fucking dad, I'm going to fucking step in. For sure. But if he just smacks her once, hey, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Take yeah. that shit inside, dude. It, sure. lo it looks bad. Yeah. But that's just what I would do. And I wish a lot of people would step up and say something. But then at the end of the day, if that dad says, hey, this is my fucking daughter. Mind your fucking business. You better be ready to fight that dad. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And my thing I, I haven't seen that video. How, how did he hit her? It, he. It looked like it, you can't see. I guess somebody pulled up a video after he hit her. But you just see her get try and get up. He pulls her up, and you can see her like almost. Oh, like knocked her out. He like oh, fixing her bush. Yeah, she was in the bushes. bushes. Like he but went my thing is go, to like knock and her going back to that, like, uh, people. Um, enough recording shit. Put the phone down yeah, and put do your fist something. up. Do like something. that's the real shit. Yeah. Like, well, the there were girls recording. No, but I don't, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying for street vendor shit. All that shit that goes on. He's bullying. Yeah. Well, like, record. put the fucking phone down, fool. Like, yeah. fuck. You look like a lame. Like, if, if I show no G names. Money a video, I, I know. I know how my boy is. If I show him a video, oh, look at the food street vendor getting fucked up. I record it. He say, I know G. Yo, fool. What the fuck? Why'd you fuck him up? Like, what are you doing? Like, and I would tell him the same shit as a man. Like, fool. Why would you record that yeah. for? Well, you should step in. I wasn't laughing one day right and um i was at the crap table that was with some chick i don't know who she was show off she's probably lucky no nah, just hey, to be I with like you that she went to the bathroom <laughs> like right that. we're playing next thing you know i, I see a, i see a scramble right there bam five guys on this chick bro short man i don't remember anything i was drunk next thing you know i'm getting pulled off and my glasses are all over the place the next day i wake up i don't remember nothing i just my one of my cousins called me. She goes, "Hey, somebody's posting you all over Facebook that she met you last night. You have your baby mama's name all blasted on your neck, and that you're a fitness trainer from West Covina, and that you saved your life. This and that." Oh, so she got a hold of me. You know, comes out. She ends up being a cousin from one of the homies out around the the, the, from yeah. the area, and um, I get I get in contact with her. You know, yeah, these guys were gonna beat her up. But you, everybody was there. recording. She you was like, "You're you 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 the only one yeah. to jump in and not yeah. record." That's what's up. That you was know? your automatic reaction. You know, Faded Derek, or not. You know my boy Derek. No, no. no. not. <laughs> <laughs> Good old fucking D. The whole yeah. D. You know the big D. What <laughs> <laughs> y'all? But anyway, Hey Derek, you know what I'm You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so yeah, my boy Derek. Yeah, yeah, we all know him now. So he ends up messaging me, right? And he was like, "Hey." I appreciate what you did, you know? Like, she told me everybody was recording. She was getting stomped on. And, Fuck. bro, she sent me pictures. Yeah. What did she do? Big one, what, I don't know to this day. And then you ended up being with her? Nah, I didn't oh. do nothing with her. That's good for you. Ooh, I, I was kidding. <laughs> okay, I, I, hey, oh, anyway. Now they're happily in love. Oh. Hey, hey, my, 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 that was guys, a way better start. This is just a, like... We have a, he has a great story. Oh, it's yeah. going to be, it's gonna be sad. Around. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a roller coaster. Yes. It's going to get crazy. And I'll let you know, when he speaks, he speaks from the heart. Yeah, so he does. So we want to we wanna get into that. And yeah. for the record... I'm not high, because when I'm high, I don't speak. So I'm speaking today. Oh, Yo, there you go. There Good to know.
I go, wow, now you want to be fucking doing, being a professional? <laughs> we're in? Here we go, we're good. And we're back. Oh, damn. Oh my Stallone is down for the count. Oh, my God. God. He's down. All right, we're back. We're back. Oh, we're back. Okay, um, Sammy Joe, start off with this. Sammy Joe, let's, let's go. Let's get into this fucking right. show. I'm pumped. You know what? Start it off. Shout out to Monster. Right now, yes. Mr. Olympia. Shirts off, everybody. Oh, hell. I'm hot right now, bro. <laughs> You're that guy. Right now, bro. You're that guy. All six pack. All right, fat. damn boxers off. I'm dead. Oh, you're fat, dude. I need someone to rub it better. <laughs> okay, guys, hey. let's, let's get into the story. Go ahead, Sammy Joe. I can't believe we met on Grinder. All right, let's start. Let, no let's more. start off with your name, where you're from, and uh, what you do. My name is Fernando Vasquez. Um, I used to go by Mr. Olympia, and then we'll get into why I changed that. And then I, I, I'm in personal training for over ten years. I want to say about twelve years, you know. Okay. And um, yeah, that's pretty much. Where are you from? I was raised in Azusa. Okay. Cannon City. I'm okay. Just playing, dog. But um, <laughs> so I known you like I I I, I never knew you. I, 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 I but I know who you were. Yeah. You know what I mean? I go this guy the personal trainer where I would never let my chick get trained by you. Cause, Whoa, cause, <laughs> you shouldn't let trained anybody train trained. your chick, fool. I, I've dealt with that situation. Your chick, no, not your chick. No, but you know what I mean? Because like, this guy like what kind of training? I mean, he had reputation at one time, right? <laughs> Never. At one time, no, I'd, be, I'd be a good personal trainer. Oh, like that? Yeah, at, at, at training, not like that. God, <laughs> Reputation? No. Okay, I said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to get it. Back to the story. So you're a personal trainer. Yeah. You're a personal trainer. Okay. Um, but we're gonna go. Can we go? Let's start like way before that. Can we go back to like childhood stuff? Like, can we go back to like what got you started to like your dark path? Yeah. So basically, like um, when I was born. You know, if you want to go back all all the way there, you know, you know, my mom had me, and th this will tie into later. You know, this will tie into later, <laughs> dog. So how that, back do you want to go? Like you want to go don't like being born, and that maybe, is a problem. Maybe not that far. <laughs> you know, like do you want to go my back? My mom that had me. <laughs> hey, but that's how I started. <laughs> yes, it was for all of us, motherfucker. You <laughs> said my mom had me. Then I was born. I was a boy. <laughs> I found out how to pee pee. <laughs> and, and I knew I was gonna cry the show. I looked down and there was two balls right there. So I'm like, all right, I'm okay, a man. I'm a Start over again. I'm a dude. I'm a boy. Right. Hold on. Breathe, guys. All right. <laughs> this is too much right now. I'm at a hospital. All right. All right. Let's go from here. I need, what, I need what details. Type of, what I type need of, details. How about what type of childhood did you have? What type of childhood? Uh, yeah, childhood growing up, you know, I, I, I grew up in Mexico. Okay. I grew up in Mexico and. I grew up with my grandparents, and I grew up thinking, uh, you know, like, I didn't know who my mom was or whatever, and they would tell me, like, oh, your mom's going to pick you up one day. Your mom's going to pick you up one day. Wait, let's get to that part. So yeah. how did you get to Mexico without your your mom? So it goes back. Parents? It goes back. I yeah. was born. <laughs> it goes back. This it's is cool. how This is how. Okay, that. no, no, no. I get what you're no, saying. No, no, now, now I get where you're it going. It goes back to that. And yeah, it does. Later on, later on in, 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 this, in this trilogy, right, you're going to find out why this happened. So my mom had me, and... She sent me to my grandparents because she was a meth. You know, she was on meth. She was a meth head and she was okay. a drug addict. Right. She couldn't afford me, you know. And my, my dad, he bounced out on her. He beat her, you know. And bam, she sent me off to Mexico. I'm living there for three years. And then. What part of Mexico? Juarez. Right by the border. Right by the central. Oh, you know? New Mexico. So I was from one to Mexico, two, three. Mexico. Uh, two, three. Texas. Right Juarez. There. Juarez. Oh, yeah. Juarez. Oh, yeah. So Juarez, right when you cross the border, Juarez is right there. Then you got the central right there. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's where I was at, you know, for three years. And. They would always tell me, like, oh, your mom's going to come pick you up. Your mom's going to come pick you up, you know. And I'm like, oh, who's my mom? You know, who's my mom? I... So then finally this lady comes, you know, it turns out to be my aunt. But I don't find that out until, like, years later, years later. So you think that's your mom? I grew... She comes, picks me up. I'm like, oh, I'm not, man. I give her a hug. Yeah. And I'm like, This is three years? Yeah. So at three years old, yeah. so your I'm aunt like, comes and picks like, you up. I do have a mom, you know. And I go live with her and... She she raised a, a, her husband had a lot of um foster kids, you know her his sister's kids he would raise, you know and I moved in there and, and I would share rooms with them you know three 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 four guys in a room and then the two three other girls in another room you know and it was normal for me, you know and they would all call him uncle and I'm be calling her mom you know so I'm like finally I, I got to an age where I'm like hey why do they call you uncle or why do they call her uncle and I'm calling you mom? Like it doesn't it doesn't make sense. It's like, well, do you want to call him dad? 
you know? I'm like, well, I mean, I'm calling you mom. I mean, it only feels right. Mm -hmm. So then I start, I start calling him dad. So then, bam, you know that. So that that's how all that happened. You were raised by your, you know. But then I, I just, I, I started kicking in with the wrong crowd, you know. And where would you guys go from Juarez to where? To Azusa. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, so you went, you joined yeah, so I, basically I, I, what, a foster what family. What age were you at, at Azusa when you moved over here? So from three, three to three, all about three. twelve years old. All that's where old. I was raised right three there, you know. Oh, okay. All my people, all my boys, every, everybody's right there, you know. So from three to twelve, you had what like would be parent figures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, but I grew up thinking they were my my parents. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. They're never, raising, they're you never raising questioned you. it ever. Yeah. Like, I, that, when when I told her when I'm like, why do I call him uncle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you mom, like that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. She was like, well, if you want to call him dad, go ahead. So I ended up calling him dad, and everything just started after that. Everything just went. Whew. What you do you know? mean, like, a after you called him dad? It was good or bad? Like, it, or, it, it like, was a downfall? At that age, I was about 10, 11, <laughs> but I was already I was already kicking in with the wrong crowd. Oh, By okay. the wrong crowd, you mean just... By 10 and 11, you started kicking in with people outside that... Yeah, middle school. Outside that Foothill, word. you know? Yeah. Like, like the local gang, pretty much? Yeah. Gotcha. You know? So, her son ended up breaking up with his baby mom. I love you. I'm sorry. His son ended up breaking up with the baby mom, and then he ends up moving in. And he he had a big influence on my life, you know, yeah. ball head all tatted up. He is where he is. He was way older than from. you, or yeah, yeah, way older. He's, okay, you know, in his mid twenties, you know, he's from where he's from, and yeah. it is what it is. And he had a big influence on my life, you know. And next thing you know, my my head shaved, and I'm kicking it with. That people. was your role model. That exactly, That's, you know, mm -hmm. because her husband wasn't stepping up to the plate. He's always working. He didn't give a damn about me. Only she did. You know, so I, I needed that father figure. So mm -hmm. I felt like he was that father figure, you know. So then I started getting into drugs. I started following his footsteps. So her daughter ends up telling me, hey, come here. Pulls out a photo album. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I'm going to let you know what, what the truth is. I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, my mom's not your mom. I'm like, what the? F oh wow! I'm like, and I was random, huh? How old were you? Random. Like twelve? You're twelve. About twelve, 12 11. Yeah. That's fucked up. I'm like, what do you that's mean my mom's not your mom? She goes, yeah, like, that's not your mom. I'm like, so did you think this was your sister telling you this? I thought this was my blood sister, and this was my blood brother taking me in. But now, now that like time passed by, I'm like, damn, he messed me up. He messed me up mentally. Like he mm. wanted me to mess my life up. Yeah. And she didn't give a damn about me. Like she was so, cause I was a baby. You know, she she raised all these foster kids, but I was the baby. I was I was the golden child, like straight A's. But you know, you, when you're good, you're bad. You know, I couldn't I couldn't find a balance. Mm -hmm. You know, and that that that's what happened. She she's like this this is your mom, and this this is what. And how'd you take that? At that age, I didn't know how to take it. I'm like, she kind of blew it off. Did she tell you to be a dick, or she told you to like? It's not like concerned. a dick move, right? It, I mean, for young kids it, it, to it, think it, like it, that, it, yeah. It, it's a wrong move to tell someone that. But at that time, I didn't. I'm like, man, I didn't want to believe it. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, yeah. you know. And she showed me her picture. She was like, "Remember that lady who always comes?" And she was like, "Oh, tu hermano, soy tu hermana, se están viniendo." But you would call her aunt, doesn't it? Doesn't it trigger you a little bit, just a little bit, that you call them brothers and sisters, but that's your aunt, but you would call my dad your uncle? I'm like, you never put together, are you? I never. I didn't you, want. You, to. you kind of blocked it out yeah, yourself. You I didn't want. It. It. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, wait, wait. That, you know what? Damn, that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm like, what the? F Damn. Oh my god. So she's like, but don't tell my mom I told you this. I'm like, my mom, she was like, no, don't tell my mom I told you. Fuck. I'm like, fuck. It's kind of like hating a little I'll, bit. I'll tell never, me like that's I mean, a big hater move. I'll never completely. forget those that's words. That's what siblings do, though. I'll you know? never forget those words. Don't tell my mom I told you this. Yeah, that's a, I said. Yeah. it's an ugly feeling because yeah. you just found out that so I'm like, that's oh, not yours. Damn. So then, all right, my time passed. And at that time, I, I was deep where I was, where I was at, you know, with my homies and everything, you know, just in the scene, drugs and everything. My mom ends up coming from Stockton. She's up north. Yeah. You know, she comes up there. What was your mom doing all this time while you were... Gang-banging, being oh. the fucking Norteño, you know? Mm. Excuse my language. No. You know, she's gang-banging, yeah. meth head, just the same thing. But yeah. she has six kids. I'm the oldest, seven. You know? But I'm the only one with a different dad. You know? 
and she has six brothers and uh, I have six brothers and sisters. I'm the oldest. So she come every time she would come, she would bring all of them. Oh, hermano, ¿cómo estás? Your mom? Yeah, my mom. So around, she would, what, she would around what age would she start visiting? Uh, she'd been visiting since I was young. Oh, so you thought she, this was your but aunt? I thought she was my aunt. But she was just kind of checking in on you, kind of? Yeah, well, and I would call all her kids' brothers and sisters, but her my aunt. So I'm like, dude, think of... Confused. That's think a lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. lot. Bro, I'm, calling, kid to I'm process. calling my mom's husband, uncle, and her aunt, but I'm calling my aunt's kids my brothers and sisters yeah so i'm like dog what uh how, how does this even add up you know and i i, I did i didn't it didn't it didn't hit me at the did time. A process it yeah, didn't yeah. process so finally when she came one day and i told her you know i'm like hey everything's going bad right now like she's like, what do you mean i'm like you're gonna see you're gonna see because at the time my mom that raised me she was hooked on pills which is your aunt my aunt. Yeah. Yeah. She was hooked on volume. She was hooked on because she had ulcers. So she was going to TJ every weekend, Jeez. you know, and going buying pills, buying, you know, uh, muscle relaxers and everything to try to kill that pain. And yeah, she was getting bad. And, you know, I was getting caught with drugs, you know, coming home and going to my stash. I'm like, oh, where, where's, the, where's my, sh where my drugs at? You know, I couldn't find them because she has caught me before. She was like, Fernando. And she starts crying. Andas fumado, verdad? Lo puedo hueler en el baño. You know? You're, you're high. I can smell it in the bathroom. I'm like, nah. She was like, and she starts crying. She goes, I don't want you to turn out to be like your brother. Where are you smoking? It was just weed or are you doing some other shit? Yeah, other stuff. And weed. Chronic at the time. Yeah. But I, w whatever I learned from her son, how to smoke, where to smoke, that's yeah. what I was trying to do. You know, put the fan by the wind. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the wet towel under the door. All that. Yeah, yeah. But she caught on to everything. Yeah. And he was already moved out by then. So I was getting caught up left and right. My sacks were gone and everything. And she was like, no, no, no. I don't want you to turn out to be like my bro uh, like, like, like my son. You're better than this. You're getting straight A's. How can you get straight A's but hang with the wrong crowd? Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. So when my mom came. I got caught with another sack. I came into my living room and she's there. She was like, I don't want you here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, You're wow. a fucking piece of shit. You're just exactly what I didn't want you to be. I don't know why the fuck I brought you in here. And how old? You're like 13? 12. Still 12? 12. Jeez. I don't know why I brought you in here. You know? So I started, I started crying. I went to my room. I started packing. And then my mom, she's visiting. She goes in there. She goes, what happened? And I'm like, my mom doesn't want me here. She goes, I'm your mom. You have a pair of filas, two pairs of lowrider shorts, and three flannels. That's what you go to school with? A la madre, te voy a llevar a mi casa. Tienes tu propio cuarto. You have your own room. I'm going to give you whatever you want. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Your, your real mom. My real mom. I'm like, hell yeah. You're young, bro. Like, you know? Yeah. yeah. If your mom, you're, you're, and you never had your own room before. Fool. Never. But I would have been like... You weren't ma mom? you weren't tripping about that. Yeah. Like, you were confused when the sister told you, but you weren't confused when your own no, mother. No, because she mentioned Fila's, and he was like, he "I was need like, to go." Hey, no, Fuck no, no. it, let's go. This is why. No, this is this is this is why I didn't trip because that's that's my blood. That's my mom. That's the woman that gave me birth. I don't care that she abandoned me when I was born. Uh -huh. Like this is my mom. You felt it. I now I can finally yeah. live with my mom and my brothers and sisters in peace. It's like you could give a fuck. Because I think you, you kind of probably already wanted. knew. But you just needed to hear it and for you to be like, all right, cool. This is what I needed. That and that's how a lot of like, I see a lot of kids are even like, um, like a, 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 a boy could grow without his dad. But once his dad shows up, oh, I'm going to go with dad. Like it just, that's how you felt. That's kind how of. I was Because I never, you know, yeah. I, I, I blocked it off knowing she wasn't my mom. But I'm like, man, if I could, if I could just live with my mom. So you like, get your filas, you go to her house and what happens right there? I go and I'm on the road, right? I'm yeah. on the road. You know, we're going to Stockton. We're going up north. Damn. And she goes, hey, mijo, check this out. That's why you're a Niner fan. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why I'm a Niner fan. I, I ain't going to lie, dog. Yeah, I get it. I ain't going to lie. That's why I'm a Niner fan. But look, mm -hmm. we're, we're driving up north, and her, her boyfriend's driving behind us. She goes, look, I know you smoke weed. I know this, but I'm going to get you high today. <laughs> Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna get serious. Uh, but she tells me, look, 
It was all a joke. This never happened. <laughs> no, was, but, but that's what really happened. She goes, look, I know you smoke weed. Yeah. Right? Can I borrow I some? <laughs> no, she didn't say that. She says, I don't care what you do. Uh -huh. I don't care what you drink. But yeah. this is what I do. She pulls out a fat sack of meth. Oh, I've what? never seen glass meth crystal in my life. Oh. Ever. Ever. Fuck. You know? At 12. I've seen other stuff, you know, that I was dibbling down yeah, into, yeah. but i never seen that. I'm like, what is this? She goes, look, I don't care what you do. Don't tell me. Don't judge me. But this is what I do. I'm going to let you do whatever you want to do under my roof. I'm not going to let you live how you lived over here. So then she goes, but I want you to try some. I'm like, I'm not going to. Well, how do I do it? Fuck? I'm like, how do I do it? Like, do I eat it? Like, what, what do I? Yeah. You know, yeah. she goes. Well, you snort it, but look, just put it in your beer. She gives me a beer. Bah, gives it to me. I'm 12, dog. I'm 12. Yeah, that's insane. I'm 12. Bro. But you have filas. I had filas. So hey, fuck it. The filas nah, with, hey, the no, filas this is crazy. The spikes, the filas yeah, with the spikes dog. About. Yeah. You know, so then she, like, she, she, grabs, she grabs a pinch, bam, puts it in my beer. She goes, just shake it up and drink it. I drank it, pounded it. I'm like, I don't, I don't feel nothing. I'm like, aren't you supposed to snort this? That'd be for a monster. You know, yeah. You know, <laughs> but... Way. <laughs> so then she's over here. That's insane, bro. Twelve years old. Boom, bam, doing lines off her. I'm like, boom, whatever. So then her man's like, honk, ba, ba, ba. Flor, her name was Florent, Florencia, whatever. I hate you anyway, Florencia. Shit. We'll get into that. Yeah, but I, I just still forgave her. So Florencia is her name, and um, her man's honking, ba, 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 ba. pulls her over. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh. Decks her in front of me. I'm like. This is a long ride. Take me back to my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't need the feelings. Take me so back. You're, so on a dry to Stockton, you're fucking doing math. With you see your mom get hit up. in the back of the van, dog. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I'm saying like this is like I, I know um, we're laughing. We shouldn't be. Uh, it just no, 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 no. no, no. It, 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 my it's thing is like me, no, no, no. What people trip out like. We judge people so much, but we don't know how people grow up. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I, no, no, like my mom was a team mom. My dad was a coach. Like. The story you're saying is insane, bro. That's yeah. how it started. This though. is insane. That's how it started. No, it got, literally, it just started. You're yeah. Yeah. on the road. That's real shit. And it, you're doing it mess got, with your mom at 12 years old. It got worse. So Fuck. he socks her, grabs her hair. <sighs> he goes, A mí no me importa lo que mira tu hijo. Maneja bien, puta. You know, drive straight. Wait, you're going to get pulled over by the cops? Mm -hmm. I got my kids in the back. You got your son here. You got drugs. This fool has a beer in his hand. Like, are you stupid or are you stoned? A 12 year old. He's checking her. He's, He's checking, checking her, her. You know? Are you stupid? Are you stoned or stupid? You know? I'm like, what Both. the fuck? And you know what? My my aunt and my uncle, they told me about him too. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I never met the man. That was the first time I met him. I'm like, oh, what? So she was like, oh, no, not the preocupes, mijo. Like, don't worry about it. Like, this doesn't even phase me. I'm like, I think he socked up like that, dog. So I'm like, wait a minute, does this happen on it? Like, you know, regular basis? Where am I going? Yeah. So then, so I, we 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 get we finally get to the apartments. She promised me my own room. I'm yeah. gonna give you your own room. Yeah. I'm gonna give you everything that you ever wanted that this woman did not give you. So I'm like, oh hell, that that, that was my no, motive, yeah, yeah. You know, like I never had, I never had fancy, you know, and like supposedly this man's rich. This he has everything. I'm like, cool, like. But it didn't, it didn't never cross my mind. This guy has six kids. And now I'm not even his kid. How are you going to provide all that? <laughs> Seven bedroom house. I know. Where Fuck. are you guys going? The White House? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, wait, finally we. You're too much hilarious. Hey. Thank you. So, finally we oh, get there. Stupid. Hey, we're pulling in, right? We, we bust the left. Bam. You know? The projects. Fuck, dog. So I'm like, hey, maybe it's a three or four bedroom apartment. I'm like, you know? Uh, uh, yeah. looks really I've nice now. Uh, Canyon <laughs> City looks real uh, nice. It looks real nice right yeah. now, dog. Oh, yeah. So shit. then I get inside. All methed out. I know. I'm still waiting for you to say, like, how I you never felt, felt all it. I never felt it. Oh, I never shit. felt it. I didn't okay. feel it. it was, okay. I didn't feel it until she made me snort it and smoke it. But okay. we'll get to she that. She made you? She beat my ass if I didn't smoke it. She beat uh, the shit out of me. All right, so mom. go on. You're, okay. you're into the project. Yeah. So I get in there. I and get you're getting your room. Thought it was the White House. I, we open the... <laughs> I, open the I, I open the door, right? Bam. <laughs> all excited. Flat rug, two couches. I'm like, all right, cool. The little small kitchen. You know apartments? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know two projects. bedrooms. I'm like, two bedrooms. Seven, seven yeah. kids. She goes, all right, mijo. 
there's two beds and that that's where your brother your two uh your two brothers sleep kick my little younger brother out bam so everybody slept in the living room so i'm like what so i don't get my own room like i i got played i got played but i i still i'm like no this is my mom like i can't this is my mom you know like she ain't gonna she ain't gonna do me dirty I'll share rooms with my other brother, you know, and she had her room with her man, and all my other brothers and sisters slept in my living room that she would mop. She didn't even have a vacuum because she didn't have money. She would mop the fuck, you know, the bam, bam. So I'm like, damn. But it, so my aunt and my uncle, they followed her to come get me. Oh, shit. Oh, they did. Wow. Bro, they busted a mission. That's so kind of cool. They ended up getting there like maybe six hours later, and then. Um, my aunt talked to me first. She was like, Fernando, ya te dije que es drogadita. She's a drug addict. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, I do. You have too much rules in your house. You don't let me smoke weed. You don't let me do my drugs. I can't even shave my head bald. I can't even, I can't even wear my low rider shorts. I can't crease my stuff with starch. Like yeah. you got too many rules in your house. You made me go to church on Sundays. That's how this church stuff happened because of her. You know, so we'll get we'll get into that. So I'm like, I don't want to go to church. If you don't let me go to church, I'll go back right now. She goes, you're under my rules, motherfucker. You're under my rules. I pay your rent. I pay everything. I'm like, you know what my mom told me? That you get a welfare check for me and everybody in that fucking house. So fuck you. You know, she goes, what? Damn, you're being like ungrateful. I was. I yeah. was. You know, she goes, I took care of you. Fuck the check. Everything. I'm sorry. Excuse my language, but this is this yeah. is really Can hitting you me. Her? You know? And she was like, I took care of you. You're going to live with this drug addict. Have you seen the drugs that she has? And I, I did, but I'm like, nah. She's not like that. She loves me. That's This is my mom. I'm going to give her a second chance. Yeah. She goes, she just cried and walked away. That's it. That was the last thing I heard from her at the time. Then her husband comes in and he goes, Fer, seguro que quieres hacer esto. You, are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, you know what? You're a piece of shit, dog. Fucking Fernie. I'm like, you're a piece of shit, dog. Like, how are you going to let me call you uncle my whole fucking life? And not be and not be a fucking man and tell me straight up. This shit would have never happened if you would have told me straight up from the beginning. Hey, I'm not your dad. I'm your uncle and she's not your mom. She's your aunt. But this is what really happened. Your mom was a drug addict. Nobody wanted to take you in. They're protecting you, at, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of, but not telling you yeah. about your mom. Yeah, but I hey, thought they were protecting you. But hey, if he's a man, yeah, you know, if he's a man, he would have told me the truth because men tell the truth, right? You take somebody in, you're gonna tell them, hey, well, this is what's going on. Don't don't wait fucking twelve, thirteen years to tell yeah. them the truth. A lot of people do it like that, though. But that, it doesn't you know I mean? rise. I think that doesn't rise with me. You know, you're saying like, oh, he he's a man, but he sees a twelve year old kid. He doesn't see another man where he has but to what, absolutely what, tell what did you, he you see know? when I was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? A child, a little kid, a child. Why didn't? But look, you know, but look how, you, you, know, but look how you look how you like you know with all due respect, but look how you you you're reacting at that at, time at twelve. You're still at church. This is my mom. I'm going here so like. That's what he was afraid of, I think, of yeah. telling the truth because this is exactly what he thought was going to happen that's happening right now. Yeah. I think he was looking out for you. To I see mean, I don't know the man, yeah. when you're I think ready, yeah. he was looking out for you at, the, at, that, at, that, at that point. Yeah. But it's easy at that age yes. to perceive it the no, way you're talking about it. Later I on, that. I found out, like, yeah, you're stubborn at that age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have, so, you have your own mom telling you, I don't care that you do drugs. I don't care that you drink. Yeah. yeah. Do what yeah. you want. Live your life. That's crazy. Disneyland. And you, you know, know what's crazy? Because <laughs> I, I, I had homies like that were like, just like you, where their parents didn't give a shit. No curfew. Do what the fuck you want. Dress how you want. Like, my parents were burn our clothes. Like, our size 50, 60s in a fucking fireplace. And I go, man, I wish my parents didn't fucking care. You know, I always say that. I wish oh, they didn't fucking care. Yeah. But yeah, they did. Yeah. And I, it's, it's, I am who I am because my parents did care. You yeah. Know? But see, at at that time, I felt like they didn't care. They they it. they drove six hours to get me. Yeah. But I, I felt like they still didn't care, because if this was this this was my perspective at the time. Being stubborn. If, if you really cared, you would have said, "Nah, you know what, Florencia? Screw you. This this is our kid. You're just trying to get a paycheck out of this. That's oh. what I really know that you want to do, and that's what happened. Oh. That's what happened. She changed." All my brothers and sisters, she was getting a check from six. 
Now I'm the seventh. That's what your mom wanted a paycheck. That's mm-hmm. what she wanted. Your wow. mom. Wanted That's what she wanted. Man. And I didn't find that out till later. So I told him, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna go back to that church life. I'm not gonna do nothing. So he was like, all right, mijo. But I'm gonna tell you this, but in Spanish, do good in school. But you're gonna find out sooner or later that we're right, and you and your mom are wrong. So I'm like, all right, cool. So they leave. The next day, bam, I'm like, I'm getting high, walking with my brother to the store, walking back to the projects. Freedom. Freedom, bro. I'm like, whew, smoking like nothing. Now you get a boy now. Norteños. I knew nothing about Norteños because I was all here. Oh, you're going to learn. <laughs> this is this is where it's fucked up. So I'm walking and these two mm. Norteños, hey, what's up? You know, I'm not even going to say the word. You know, they're like, what's up? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm like, fuck is that they're like where you from dog i'm not from azusa dog we were born and raised dog what's up you know then they start well this north daniel gang dog i'm yeah. like well where are you from now this is just north daniel this is where i won i'm like because i had my debo slippers on my blue slippers on and if i had my blue shirt and everything oh you're comfortable right away now, chilling dog yeah nobody warned you they did it like <laughs> little heads up mom <laughs> <laughs> they, they, that, that, that's Jeez. where it gets hey, That's where it gets fucked up And uh-huh. I'm gonna tell you That's where it gets fucked up No no <laughs> Hey no why I'm gonna tell you why So you know And I had my little brother with me And I didn't yeah. wanna be I didn't, I didn't wanna like a little bitch So I'm like What's up then dog Just do what you wanna do I'm 12 They were like You live right here right With your little brother And Florencia I know your mom You know She be having that So sacks We pick up from her So we'll let you slide Oh So I'm like Wait my mom sells drugs <laughs> Like what I'm like <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a crazy first 48 hours. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, wait. So I go I go home, and my brother's crying because he's a little hothead. Yeah. I think you should go back out there and just fuck him up, brother. Fuck <laughs> him up. I'm what like, damn, fuck? dog. I, I think you should fuck him up for me, dog. <laughs> no, but he's telling my mom, and yeah. she was like. Oh, this was to you, brother. <laughs> and she, he's telling my mom, and she was like, ah, I'm sorry. You know, just ignore them, blah, blah, blah. Every day for the last six months after that, I was getting jumped. I was getting checked. Everything. It got to the point. That's a crazy childhood. It got to the point where one day, one of them was like, dog, I can't even do this no more. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm going to tell you right now, dog. Your mom is making us jump you, dog, and try to blast you and fuck you up. I'm like, what? I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you know your mom's from a Norte gang, right? I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, she's trying to get, she's trying to turn you. I'm like, nah, I don't believe that. Nah, I don't believe that. She was like, and your brother's in it too. I'm like, the, the one that was like, hey, we what should go back out there. Yeah. What? This is like a, <laughs> no way. This Dog. is insane. This bro. is fucking crazy. So then I go in, I'm like, I didn't, I never told her nothing, bro. To this day. What? I still believe it's a lie. I believe it's a lie. But when she was messed out and coming down, at the time, like, I know what come downs feel like now. Yeah. I know how people think. You know, so I'm like, she'd be up, oh, bam, two days. She'd be happy, and then, excuse me, bam, bad moods. I'm like, why are you like this? Mm-hmm. Why are you treating us all like this? And only me specifically, she would treat like crap. Only me. Leave me in the bedroom locked up for two weeks. You can't come out unless you're... You want to take a bath or unless I feed you. I'm like, but what What did I do? Why don't you treat my brothers and sisters like this? And at the time, I'm like, damn, I miss my mom now. My real mom, the one that raised me. I miss yes. her. So I'm like, fuck, she was right. And I'm like, how long? Bro. How long were you up there for? Months? Six months. Oh, and six, six months. months, I got blasted. I got jumped. I got mistreated. And I would do runs with her. She would always fight with her, her boyfriend. And every time she would fight with her boyfriend, I was her her accomplice, almost like a Bonnie and Clyde in a mother son yeah. situation. Yeah. In a weird way, she, she would manipulate you she to would be manipulate that part. Me. Yeah, so to make you feel important. One day she was like, "Here, do this line." I'm like, "Dude, I never snorted nothing in my life. I always smoke things. Yeah. That's it." Well, s- sniff this. I'm like, "No, mom, I don't want to." She she grabs me. That's an evil lady. Bam! Sniff you. it. Whew. Fucking slams my head on the floor on the table. Bam! I'm like, "Oh!" Uh. So I sniffed it. And that, that was my fear. That started my fear in her. That was the fear. Because I I'll ne- I'll ne- to this day, I'll never hit a woman in my life, bro. I'll never hit a woman. Yeah. I'm not about to hit my mom. Because if my brothers and sisters see that, 
I'm like, all this my past, but I'm like, they're always going to see me as a woman beater. So I took it. Bam. And every time I said no, bam, there, there comes a microwave cord. Bah, bah, bah. There comes a skateboard. Wah. You know, there comes a crowbar. Crazy. Wah. You know? Wah. And I'm like, mom, I'm not going to do this again unless you put this in the in a joint. That's it. You could beat me as much as you want. I'm not going to do this unless you put this in a joint. Just want to lace it, huh? So she did. Oh, Bro, that was the compromise. best high I ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. No, I, yeah, it, no, you're being real. It was the best high I had. Bro, I felt like my feet weren't even walking. I felt like I was floating like Michael Jackson. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's, that's serious. Like, I'm yeah. like, dude, this is, this is too addicting. Like, oh. You know, when she would get in fights with her boyfriend. It was a game changer for you. She would get kicked out, you know, and I would be the one there following her homeless. Boom. You know? After you got after you got it laced like that, would you start lacing your own? No. I, the thing with me at that time is I did not like meth. I mm -hmm. only did it for her. Yeah. That's crazy. That's funny. That you, sounds funny. Just even you saying it out loud, like, yeah. I only did meth for her. Yeah. Like, like, his mom, which is in... That's a rough fucking... Uh, yeah, that's a lot. That brings up a lot of shit right there. And that's like, obviously, back to my question, that's obviously where this shit really, really, really fucking starts. I mean, let's take a... Take a break, Wax? Let's take a quick break. Be right back, everybody. <laughs> Let's actually start off at the six months. Can we start yeah. off to, uh, when well, you end that six months? Well, let's go into no, where no, you no, were. I'll, let's go. I'll, yeah, I'll get back to it. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. No, no you know, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry about this. Sorry, really, dog. You're helping thank people you, out. Yeah, and thank you for giving us your truth yeah. like that, for real, because this is a lot. It's bringing a lot of stuff out that so, still hasn't healed completely. She made, yeah, she made me do all that, and it's just like... I I only did it. I, I, I didn't like to do it, and I would cry to her. I'm like... I don't want to do this. And she, dude. She dude, she. Go ahead. You got this. At one point, she had a knife to me, like, you know, and I, I felt like I was going to die. Yeah. I felt like I was going to die. I did it, and I, I ran one day. I'm burning in the projects. Next thing you know, you're, pa, 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 pa. I'm like, what the f Boom. I laid on the floor, and then one of the. Not, he's not even my homie because he, he jumped me at the time, but I felt like he was my homie at the time. Whew, snatches me up, takes me upstairs. He goes, hey, dog. Remember I told you that she, she's been trying to get you jumped? She's the one that tried to get you blasted right now. And to this day, you still don't believe that or you believe it? I believe that, you believe bro, it because she hasn't been woman enough to tell me the truth. Or it's probably something you don't want to believe. So how'd you I, get... I how'd you get... Out of the, like the project in Stockton, this is, bro. Like, so look, I, so th this is how everything happened. This is how I, I escaped. 
from like that Mormon Netflix movie, bro. This is how I escaped. I was scared of her, bro. I was scared, bro. I've never been scared of a woman to this day, but I was scared of her, bro. Not even her man. Her man was a boxer, bro. Amateur, almost going pro. <clears throat> her man was her, a boxer. Yeah. So he was straight. Straight nah, edge. That fool was a meth head too. Oh, he was just. Yeah, but he fool knew how to get down because he would. He backed me up a lot. Okay. He felt bad for me to the point where he would see me almost getting. He would be in there. Not even my brothers or sisters. Not even her. And after he would back me up. <laughs> Everardo. Puto cabrón, deja lo que eres, hombre. Let him grow up to be a man. Are you stupid? He's only 12. Motherfuckers got guns out here. I'm like, damn, this was not even my dad. Yeah. You know? So at that point, I'm like, oh, yeah, something's something's off, you know? So it got it got to the point. So the, the mother that raised me, Alma Rosa, rest in peace. My mom started feeding things in my head, right? She started feeding things in my head. Like, hey, she's she's taking more pills because you left. She's she's falling asleep while she's eating. Like, she's, she went to an insane asylum because of you, that you left her. Damn. So I'm like, dude. So I called her one day. I'm like, mom, you can't take me back. I'm sorry. She goes, no, you made your decision. Jeez. I want you back here. But my husband doesn't. I'm like, then why don't you guys ever tell me this? Because you didn't need to know. You didn't need to know. We were... You can you can believe what your mom said. And I'm sorry for lying to you. But your mom is the mom that raised you since day one. The mom that took you in when no one gave a fuck about you. I'm your mom. I'm your mom. And you turned your back on me. But you're, you're too young to understand this. I'm like, then why are you taking pills? Why... I go to TJ because I have ulcers. I'm like, no. You were taking pills before I went there. Because when you kicked me out, you were high on fucking... You were high on pills. I seen you. Now you're taking more pills. She denied it to this day. I, I don't know. I don't know. Long story short, my mom fed me all this. She went to an assailant's time. She took... So I got fed up with everything. My mom had me almost blasted. She had me jumped at every single day. For the past six months. And I got fed up with... And she would tell me, you could try to go back home, but no one gives a fuck about you. No one gives a shit. When you go back, good luck finding a place to live. No one, no one's going to accept you. You abandoned that home to come here. And I believed it. And then one day I just like... I almost died. You know, I, I was in a bad situation and... I got home, I'm like, you know what, fuck you, bitch. Excuse my language, because I do not cuss, but I'm, you know, this, this is really getting to me. I was like, fuck you, bitch, you ain't going to do shit. All my brothers and sisters were there, like, because I, I was really respectful to this broad, you know. She was like, all right, motherfucker, go to sleep, go in your room, before I lock you up for two more weeks. I'm like, man, fuck you, you ain't going to do shit this time. I go to bed, four in the morning. A huevo, puto. A huevo. Levántate. Levántate como eres. Así te vas a largar de mi casa. I'm like, what the fuck? Get up exactly how you are in your clothes. You're not going to take shit. Let's go. I'm like, boom. She pulls me out. I get in her van. Boom. We go to the Greyhound. I'm like, where the fuck are we going? She goes. She starts laughing. Aquí es tu boleto, puto. Here's your ticket. I'm like, what? Oh, Bam, I open the door, I unbutton my, as soon as I unbuckle this shit, bam, and she throws out the ticket, throws it out, <sighs> takes off, I'm in the Greyhound, I had turned 13 because my birthday's on Valentine's Day, I hate it, <laughs> Valentine's Day, you know, I was there for six months, I'm 13, I'm like, oh, she's gone, she's gone, I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, I'm in the Greyhound right here. Yeah. Stockton. Yeah. So I'm like asking. I'm 13. I had no money. Do you know where you're going? I had no idea. <laughs> I had to look at the ticket. Fucking shit. I, I had my Debo slippers. The same way I went yeah, there yeah, yeah. is the same way I left. Shit. No filas, like, nothing. <laughs> no, I didn't even have my filas. <laughs> <laughs> like, she didn't let you grab them. Bro. 
Richie, yeah. you know, like, so I'm like, I went up to the, to the, to the people. I'm like, Hey, where do I go? They're like, Oh, that's your bus right there. Where's your parents? I, at that time I, I was, my, my heart was cold. I'm like, I'm, I'm moving. I didn't want to break down and yeah. Yeah. Like, fuck this bitch. I, I'm, I'm alone. Yeah. I'm finally, I escaped. You ever watched that movie get out? Yeah. That's yeah. how I felt. That's how I felt. Like yeah. I, I finally got out this bitch. Like fuck it. So then I go, I go in East LA where the fucking metro's at. I'm like, dude, I ain't from this area, dog. I, I never been here in my life. I'm 13. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck? fuck so I, I get off. No, no fucking money, nothing. I'm like, dude, I don't know, I don't know how where, where I'm going. They don't want me back. Uh, from what she told me, like, I'm like, fuck. So I'm walking. I get to the corner and then some. Gangsters fucking, they're walking, they're like, what's up, dog, where you from? I'm like, you know what, I'm 13, I ain't got time. I told him the yeah, truth. Yeah, oh, yeah, at 13, you're already fuck tired of fucking I just shot at him. Getting <laughs> back. Hey, I just got off the bus, dog. I don't even have my feet as full. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I, hey, I'm not saying I bitched out, but I, I just said. No, you had enough. Is. No, that's enough. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I was over. I get it. Yeah, hey, I get you it. You're explain to us. Yeah. At that time, I didn't think about suicide, how I thought about it now. Okay. I wish I would have thought about it because I would have got down with all those motherfuckers and I would have let them blast me. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm stronger than that. That wasn't in your head at the moment. That wasn't in my head at the time. So I'm like, I told them what happened. They're like, damn, my boy, you know what? Here's five bucks. It takes about 450 to take the metro to where you're trying to go, West Covina. That's right. And you're going to have 50 cents left to make a phone call. And exactly damn. that's what happened. I got to West Covina. I made a phone call to the kids that she raised. They had their apartments already. They're 18, 19. Yeah. yeah. Bam. I get there and they're like, damn, Fernie, you're actually here. What happened? I'm like, I don't want to even talk <laughs> about what the fuck yeah. happened. Like, I'm alive. I'm yeah. alive. You know? So then the night passed. The next day, they were like, hey, my aunt knows you're home. She was, they were like, because my, my uncle was like everything to them, you know, and they were like, and this is the man that I changed uncle to dad, you know. It took a lot for me just to call him dad. And it's just like, they, they, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah. He was like, but my uncle doesn't want you back. He doesn't want you back. I'm like, what the f he doesn't want me back. Like nobody wanted you. At nobody this time. wanted, cause she put it in my brain that nobody wanted me back, and nobody wanted me back. Well, so your uncle didn't. He, no, nobody wanted she, me. Oh, back. she didn't either. She did, but who ran the house yeah. at the time? Yeah. At back in the days in the nineties. Yeah. Right, all the way up until years later, even in early two thousand, like men ran the house. Yeah. No disrespect to the women. No, for sure. You know, no disrespect. You know, so and then in being in the nineties, like he probably really knew what he was getting himself into by having you there, you know, and having all those other kids, he probably didn't want the same thing to happen that happened to you with like the older brother. You know, honest, I, 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 to this day, I don't know what, what the. F yeah. It took a, like when I found God, and we're gonna get into that. When I found God, I forgave everybody who wronged me, anybody who I wronged. And he was the last person that I text. Like, hey, you know what? I forgive you for not taking me back when I had no place to live. How long wow. ago was that? A few months ago, dog. Wow. That was the last man. So where do you go at this time? Man? So I, I stayed with, with the 18, 19-year-olds. Okay. They were like, hey. Your cousins yeah. slash brothers. Hey, Fernie. My uncle doesn't want you to go back. You know, but, you know, your mom, your aunt, they she raised me. So I feel like we could return the favor. We're going to let you live here. We're not your parents. If you get in trouble by the cops, that's on you. Mm -hmm. If you want to fuck around, that's on you. Like, we can't tell you what to do. And after that point, nobody to this day could tell me what to do. No matter, nobody, you know? I, I ran amok. Nobody, like, hey, could give me advice. Nobody could tell me anything. 
It's just like it's you know like the saying, bro. Like you can't. Te- There's some shit you can't teach in life, dog. You have to learn on your own. I had no mom. I had no dad at that point. I had nobody. I had no father figure. I had shit. I was sharing clothes with these motherfuckers. You know what these people like? Fucking boots, fucking jersey, and jeans, bro. Like I did not match, bro. Like I had no game. I had no style. I had nothing. I had to learn on my own. My sophomore year. Are you going to do the high school this time? Yeah, I'm wondering, like, how do you even get to get into school and like enrolled all that? Yeah, all enrolled right. in all that. Like, that's that's something else right there. You got to remember why you're here. You know what I mean? You're here to help somebody else with your story. My mom. You're good. My mom enrolled me into high school. Your mom enrolled enrolled you into high school, meaning yeah, his, the aunt, the aunt, the aunt did. Okay, so she helped you out still. So all the foster kids she took in, her main priority was for everyone to graduate. This is gonna fuck me up right now. You got it. So she enrolls me into school. I couldn't go to Azusa because of all the shit I got into before. I had to go to Northview. So she tells me, mijo, te voy a poner en la escuela, pero no, no le dices a nadie. I, I'm gonna enroll you in school, but don't tell nobody. Don't tell my husband. I just, I just want you to graduate. Next year, she dies. She dies from an overdose pills. She dies from an overdose or an overdose from pills. And who took the blame? From what my mom told me, mm-hmm. I took that blame. You know. Added on to all the things you already everything had. Everything that the f- everything my mom did. Because your mom told you that she started yeah. doing pills because you ran away, kind of. Yeah. She went to an insane asylum because of you. She died of pills. To this day, bro, I can't, I can't fathom that, bro. And I cried in the last podcast, bro. I'm, I'm trying not to cry right. That wasn't that wasn't your fault though, bro. That wasn't your fault though. Just want to remind you because you're here now and like, if you haven't, you know, told yourself that yet, it really I wasn't told your fault. I myself that when I found God, but now like I'm not I'm not where I was where I was before, you know. Yeah. And it's just like these these demons, you For know, sure. these spirits. They 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 lie, they lie to you. Yeah, they play games. And she died, and they found her in a fetal position by the closet. And I had a. I had to carry her casket, you know, to the... Well, they always say God gives his toughest battles to the strongest. Yeah. And I think, like, only somebody like you could actually survive that, bro. Like, I know... I don't like I can't say it. that's that's so that's much lot. dude like yeah. I don't like, think I, most people can't I even stand on that I, yeah. took, I had to carry a casket and like everybody's walked off the funeral and I'm I'm the last one there like mm-hmm. just taking the blame I'm taking the blame and everything that my mom fed into me you know and I'm 16 at the time so the only reason I graduated was because of her words just graduate for me. Just that's, graduate. It's good, bro. That's the only reason I. It's good. But after that, it's just like, that's when everything hit the fan, dog. Everything hit the fan. I went. 
Uh, how how f more lower can your life go after that? Oh, way oh. lower, way lower, way lower. I can't even imagine how. I mean, you're carrying all that stuff with you throughout that time, and like, yeah, you got through high school, like you graduated for some. Imagine going. Imagine, look, this is for all you guys right here who don't have parents, you know, who are going through struggles. I'm I'm gonna tell you something straight up. Something that affected me. And something that you guys don't have to go through. You know, you guys have kids, don't have kids, or you guys know somebody that... When you're in high school and you have no parents, and you're, those kids are going to your friend, their friends' houses with parents, mm -hmm. and they see these their friends hugging their moms and their dads, they're getting presents, mm -hmm. and you're just there like, man, fuck this shit. I'm sorry for my language. No, go no, man, go fuck this it. shit. Like, and you have to put up a front like you have a family. Like... And you don't, and you don't. You have nothing, you know? You got cousins, like, yeah, they're your family, but it's not the same. Were you kind of embarrassed that you didn't well, have that I family? I was embarrassed as fuck. I was embarrassed. Yeah. I had a fucking lie. I had a yeah. lie my whole life, bro, in high school, you know? I had a lie. You got, hey, go through it. You, you're never going to learn shit in life unless you go through it. People can explain shit to you. People could tell you advice. But you're never gonna take anything unless you really want to go through it, right? And that that I wish somebody would have told me that back in the day. I'm living my life in high school, bro, and bro, I'm I'm with all my friends, and they're with their I'm going through their mom's house and everything, their families. Bam! Oh, here here's your present, some fucking PlayStation, fucking Jordan, fuck. fucking scooter, a brand new car. What the fuck did I get? A fucking prepaid T-Mobile phone. I'm like, man, dog, like. It's the shit some people go through, bro, you know, and some people don't got it easy. Some people don't have moms. Some people don't have dads. Some people have been through the same situation as me, you know, but I, I believe that those people go through certain things because they're going to become something greater, right? The devil's a liar, bro, and the, 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 the devil just tries to manipulate families to manipulate kids, and it destroys people, bro, and that was me, bro. I was a manipulated, destroyed kid. So I'm in high school for my freshman year, and all I knew was meth at the time. So I was hooked on meth, bro. Like, you know, hooked on meth. All through high school, you were from like freshman to sophomore year, you know. And I I tried to stop, but because I didn't sleep for a certain amount of days, yeah. you know, you hallucinate. Yeah, that's when the meth was good. In so the I tried to smoke shit. weed again. I tried to smoke weed again, and I'm like, oh, dude, this is too much of a reality check, yeah. you know, and. In when you thoughts. don't sleep after, I'm like, oh, I'm not smoking weed. Like, mm -hmm. So I got sober. I got into wrestling. I'm like, dude, I, I got something good going for me now. I have a family. Mm -hmm. I have a family. Boom. That's good. Winning first places, slamming fools, pinning fools. Like, you got a new addiction. Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing with me is like. Yeah. I'm, it made I'm, you feel important there. The thing with me is like, I'm, I'm either all in or I'm all out. That's yeah. my personality. I get that. I can't, I can't do in between. I'm either here or there. A hundred or zero. So I fell in love with it. I dislocated my shoulders. And I'm like, fuck. I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing anymore. And I did not want to fall back into drugs. I had just gotten a, my first job ever at Shakey's right there on Azusa and Arrow. Making, the movie theater, right? Still there. Making, yeah. making the most bank than everybody there. Why? Because I never had shit. All these motherfuckers, I don't care if you hate me, they went to Charter Oak. Yeah. Spoon fed yeah. by their parents. They're just there just to make, you know. And I'm there broke as fuck, broke. Bam, I'm the waiter. I'm a waiter, bro. I'm a waiter, and I'm like, dude, I could hustling tables, bro, making two, three hundred, four hundred dollars a night. I'm like, oh, dude, I never oh, had wow. this kind of money. That was my That's first. Cool as fuck. That was my first job. Bunch bro. of lunch. Dog. That was yeah. my first. You know, <laughs> so I'm like. I didn't buy drugs. I, I got it. I got into bodybuilding that year, and that's that's how I got into my career. That's cool. that, so, so. At what age did you get your first job? Seventeen. Seventeen. Going into eighteen. Okay, so you were like a so junior I, I, going I, I into be, a senior. I was a senior. Oh, you're already a senior. You no, know, okay. no, no more sharing clothes. Mm -hmm. I had my own style now. What I wanted to did wear. Did you go buy those filas or no? No, <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> they weren't in no more by then. I, I look like a broho. <laughs> I had the famous stars and stripes. Oh, oh. Like, yeah, 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 Judy Shore, Judy Shore. Yeah. Fi hey, finally, I, I can get a taper. I was okay. like, 
Yeah, I was, like, I was looking at Feedback, you know? <laughs> we'll, we'll post a picture of that later yeah, for, sure. for sure. I got, I got some pictures. Oh, shoot it. You know, but look, I, I was like, damn, I'm making money Okay, now. so now you're not doing drugs. You have a job. Nothing, you're, you're, I'm, you're, I'm doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, the yeah. best server. Where are you leaving at 17? So with the same people. Okay, but okay. But we moved to Pomona. Okay. Because I reside uh -oh. in Pomona. Yeah. I got some bitches on the corner. My baby mama with him too because I'm a motherfucking fool. <laughs> this <laughs> guy's something else. Right, I'm but loving no. it though. Yeah. <laughs> but you feel me? So that's where I was at. Yeah. And, you know, and bam, say, I had my own stilo. Everything was feeding me. Dog, and I'm chilling. Things bro. are looking up right now, bro. Perfect. Things are looking up. I mean, I'm this like, is probably the best time of his life so far. Right now, like, I'm, yeah. happy, I'm happy for you this right is, now. Hey, this is where I learned. The whole time I'm like this. Like, yeah, I'm like, trying to crash. <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah. This is where I learned. Mojos? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Papa Mojos. <laughs> this is where I learned, like, how to take care of people. Yeah. I, I was still in high school, but I'm like, Hey, my boy, you're, here's here's some fat. You're straight. Like that was me, bro. Yeah. Since that day, like, you know, and but I felt good, and then I got into bodybuilding finally. So now, I, getting buying food, uh, buying buying food, my money that I'm making, I'm pff, bam. I went from 130 pounds to 210 pounds. Nice. Six months. Yeah. You know, like damn, living a good months? life, bro. Confident. But then I got fired. On my day off. What oh. you stealing boxes? You were stealing mojos? Stealing mojos? <laughs> <laughs> Taking the secret recipe home? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got fired on my day off. I'm going to tell you how I got fired on my day off. Please. Um, how, who gets fired from Shakey's? All right, so they fired my old homie, my, my old manager, Miguel. Yeah. Or Manuel, whatever. Sh shout out, Miguel. So he's yeah. doing good right now. I Blue heard. eyes, fat boy. He got <laughs> fired, and they hired some fucking Mexican guy named Luis. Fucking Mexican. Throw everybody out there. Right <laughs> <Jeez. now. laughs> no, I don't care, bro. They, I know. they ain't gonna do shit. So anyway, <laughs> so look, Luis ain't you ain't. Sh yeah. Luis ain't shit. I wish he huh. would, bro. He fired me. Yeah. I would have been manager at Shakey's, yeah. right? I would have owned the whole corporation, own Shakey's, bro. But this is what happened. So he got fired, and uh, he had his own selected people. I yeah. came into late. I came into work late one day. Two minutes. You know, piece of shit. I worked, and then the next day, he goes, "Hey, what did you take when you left home?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Yeah, the cameras. I I see you took some hot wings and blah blah blah." I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, wait! I paid for it." He goes, "No, you didn't. Where's the Where's the register? Blah blah blah." I'm like, "Oh damn!" This so you did? Oh, you did steal it then? See, this I mean, they're just throwing away. away. Just wings. Wait, Stop. The, I, just I wings? did that every night. And you made it, too. I did that oh. every night. I was the number one waiter. Yeah. yeah. I was the number one prospect. I was the number one quarterback. You were the I man. I was everything, bro. You were Mr. Shakey's. That was everything, <laughs> bro. You, not no Shakey's. But you yeah. also Before the number... Mr. Olympia, I was <laughs> Mr. Shakey's. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, dog, I was a big deal. You know, people would come just to see me. <laughs> Shakey's. <laughs> but no, you were also... They wanted his mojo. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he laughs at my jokes so uh, It's amazing. I'm like, bring I'm him everywhere. Right okay. now. It um, feels good. I so, hate that. So, I hate that. So, so, you, so you get fired. They are looking up. Now it's going a little bit down right now. Yeah, so I get fired. I'm like... <sighs> so I end up... Um, I'm trying to think of the, the timeline. All right. So I get fired. I, I, stand, I end up working at Baskin Robbins. Okay. Then I worked at Pollo Loco off a hole. That's how I know the hookers. That's why I gave you the hooker joke when I came. Um... <laughs> Tell him the hooker joke. I don't know what it was. So oh, look, I'm trying to find the place. I'm like, hey, I'm out here on Citrus and Third looking like a hooker on Holt. How do I know oh. that? Because I used to I used to work on Holt, right? I lived in Pomona for about four or five years, you know, because we moved out. Bam. Yeah. So then I moved out. I got my own apartment. You know, I got a job. I actually So you're sober for at least, what, three, no, I was four years? sober. Oh, you're, you're and even at Shaky, you're doing dope? No, nah, I was I was drinking. Oh, no. okay. But, but I mean, I not guess dope, that's dope, being not sober. Dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I got sober my sophomore year because I got into wrestling. Mm. Okay. Up until, you know, and... Um, that happened to your arm. And then got, he's bodybuilding. I, I got into bodybuilding. Yeah. You know, I learned how to do it. I was getting ready for a show and everything, and things just didn't work out, and I graduated, I got a job, and bam, I started learning how to be an adult. So I got my first apartment at 18. I learned how to grind. I learned how to hustle. But this like job... So, someone like you has no choice but to get a job and get a place because yeah. other than that, you're homeless. Well, because my aunt, right, one of um, her husband's sisters, no, her husband's um, nieces, she owned the house. So she let me live there. She was like, kind of like Friday. Yeah. If you don't live here, you got 
One or two things. He guy loves movies. Yes, he loves Friday. He guys loves Friday. I love Friday. You can reference another movie, don't you? <laughs> hey, Friday's my thing. I'll ref- hey, you can reference Friday yeah, with anything. Next Friday. <laughs> you can hey, you can reference Friday with anything. And then in That's Christmas, true. when That's you true. really get a job or worry about a dog, but in your ass. Hey, so- so you my next job, I was, I was security. Yeah. <laughs> Top flight. Top flight. Top flight. <laughs> no, but, but that's what happened. That's what she told me. She was like, you're either going to get a job or yeah. you got to bounce. That's So I got a job at a collection agency. You know, and I met one of my boys at a rave. This is where everything fucked. It didn't, I mean, it wasn't, it didn't start off fucked up, but this is how everything fucked up. Starting ecstasy, probably. This is, this is how my ecstasy fucking drug oh, cartel okay. happened, fucking... This is where this is where the pinnacle of the P happened. So I met this my, my I met this boy at the rave, and we exchanged numbers. You know I'm working at this job. I'm like, man, fuck this job, dog. Like I'm fucking broke. I'm barely paying. Dog, I barely have fifty bucks for gas. I'm yeah. paying her like two hundred a month. I'm barely making like six hundred off this check. Like, so he goes, hey. This is how he talks. Here's a half ounce. Just pay me back. I'm like. How much do you want back? Uh, I charge one forty, but just give me eighty. Is his name Debo? No, <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name. Nah, it's fucking worm. <laughs> big worm. Big perm. Big perm. <laughs> I mean, big worm. It's kind of like it's both our playing bike. with my money. It's like <laughs> oh, <barf. laughs> It's kind of like it's both our ecstasy. <laughs> but that's how it happened. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So he he started me off with the half ounce, and I'm slinging at work. Bam. I'm like, damn, this is easy, Fetty. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm selling a quad and I'm making about two bills. I'm like, fuck. Like, well, f- every other day, I'm like, Phew. that's how it started. And I went from a quad, you know, to a half o, to an ounce, to a half pound, to a pound. In a matter of about eight months, I'm like, bam. And I'm living, I'm living in my apartment, barely making ends meet. I, I end up getting too deep. So when I turned 18, I got my license, right? I got my DUI, my first DUI, three months later. Three months later. I'm doing my classes. I did a little bit of time. Two months later, I got my second. So I'm like, oh, oh shit. Oh, God. Like, dude. What did I do? Who did I blame for my faults? Yourself? Like, nope. You blamed your mom? I blame my mom. I blame my from, dad. From up north. I blamed everybody oh. but me. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I blamed everybody but me. Yeah. I'm older now. At the time, I'm like, dude, don't blame people for your fuck ups. Yeah. You have your own mind. Hey, if you blame yourself for your own fuck ups, that means you're weak and you're soft. But at the time, I- I'm young. Yeah. I don't. Nope. I had no dad. You know, I had no homies from the streets, from the hood, what to teach me this shit. I'm over here living by my own. I had to learn all this shit on my own. You know, I still have my boys. But I was still fucking up on my own, right? Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. So when I got that second DUI, I'm getting pulled over in Orange County leaving Sharkies. I sucked the concrete like I was Hulk trying to crack it. Damn, I went to jail and I'm damn. I left and dude, for like two days, I tried to kill myself. And I'm like, I went back home. I walked from Citrus, no, no, Barranca and... um, you know where the in and outs at? Branca. Branca On Branca? Yeah. Southwest. Where the Medici's at, South Hills? I walked there all the way to the canyons. Oh, That's shit. That's why I got this palm tree walk. tattoo. Because when you go on Azusa, there's nothing but palm trees. But take us back to you said you try to cure yourself for two days. Yeah. That, that, that's where I'm getting at. Okay. So the palm tree, this is a reminder. Like, that's what, when, you, when, you're on, when you're on the street of Azusa, there's nothing but palm trees leading to the canyons. Mm-hmm. So that was the first time I I, I, I ever fuck I tried to commit suicide. So I'm, I I li- I walked for like four hours, bro, from that sh- that that apartment all the way up. Stop by, grab the fucking a bottle of J, and I'm walking, and right before I hit the cliff, I called one of the girls I was talking to. I'm like, hey, you need to pick me up because I'm gonna do some dumb shit. All I remember is being back in my apartment on the bed. She was like, you were on the edge of the cliff with your arm half out. I'm like, what? She showed me a picture. I'm like, what the fuck? Dog. Dog. What cliff? The canyons? The, the Zuzu canyons. Mm. That, that, that's my comfort zone to this day. 
you know that's to this day your getaway spot that's my getaway spot you know and to see a picture of you like I wish I could lay on this right here, you know? Lay me down, You could do what you want, man. Right Wait, <laughs> you know? so from the time that happened, like, what are you doing? Are you just drinking? Yeah, I was... I, it's just, I'm an alcoholic, like, full-blown, you okay. know? Because the, 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 way, the way Coke hits me now, it didn't hit me before. I didn't never did Coke at the time. Yeah. All I did was meth, but I stopped meth. Mm -hmm. So all I was doing was drinking. And you felt like you were already an alcoholic. Now I could drink and I could be feeding me, but if I do... The other stuff to yeah. call is it's a different story. But at the time I wasn't doing that. Yeah. So I was, bam! I bought I bought a bottle and I'm up there and I'm just like, to black out like that like, and she showed me a picture like literally like boom my body half off the. Yeah, but you remember yeah. calling her? No, so you were just faded up there. I called her for help. Like honestly, look guys, if you guys are feeling like you want to kill yourselves or you're suicidal. This goes for the people that you reach out to. It's not a cry for help. You know, it's not a cry for attention. It's a cry for somebody that you really need. Because sometimes people want to judge you, but they don't know what you've gone through. Right? They don't know what you've gone through. And there's only certain people you can message or call that are going to be there for you. They're not going to judge you. They're not going to call you out on your shit. They're going to be there for you. At that time, I didn't have nobody. They showed up just to be that person to be like, well, I was there for him. Don't call those people. Do not call those people. Because those people are going to take credit and they're going to take glory for your fuck-ups and for your downfall and for your mistakes. You don't want to call those people. You want to call those people who are not going to tell shit to nobody. Yep. Because people always want to take credit for your fuck-ups. While I was there, I helped them out, you know? And that's what they did. That's what they did. And that's cool. But that was a long time ago. But look where I'm at and look where they're at. And they know who they are. But, you know, like, don't... Th this is shit you learn over time, you know? The next day, oh, I just got him. Look at these... Set. I was going to say, yeah, like, the was, fact that yeah. someone had, like... Dude, oh, so look at, let me yeah. take a picture first before I try to save you. Do is take, yeah. take a picture like, before I see you. Like, we're just talking about this? Yes. yes. And they probably sent to people, their friends. Oh, bro, oh, yeah, I was sure. embarrassed. That, that's why... Oh, not that I, I was nervous to come in here because it, it scared, it, it's scary to talk about this, but be, I know people go through this. You yeah. Know? A lot of people. So yeah. that was the first attempt of actual suicide for me that day. So they picked me up, whatever, you know, and... I, I still wanted to end it. So I went to my homie's pad and he pulls out a 12 gauge. If you really want to end your life here. What fucking homie's that? Fucking homie guy, dog. But he, hey, he, no, this is my, you say that, but look, this is my boy and he knew damn well I wasn't going to do it. I was going to say, I yeah. wouldn't even risk it. Yeah. I can't. No, nah, hey, he's no, no, no it's bullets it's in there. Well, this you. is the guy, yeah. this is the guy who gave me the weed, who told me to sell weed and everything. Like, he, he knew me. He gave me the ounce. He gave me the half gram. Yeah, it's he your connect. The, he he knew who the fuck I. Yeah, he's he, not gonna kill his best salesman. He was like, yeah, yeah, he's a connect. He's pretty a smart much. Connect. So look, so long what story short, serious? I didn't do it. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Hey, let me. I'm not too fucking not a guy. Spoiler. Spoiler. What the fuck? Mantai? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Mantai's girlfriend? <laughs> You mean like the fucking hey, movie goes? So, hey, so, hey, so I'm still alive right now, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, let's go with an applause for him being alive right ghost. now, guys. All right, we got to brighten hey, it up a little or bit. Or maybe there. on Machiavelli. I don't know. This is the hey, actual no, life. Hey, look. So, yeah, he has me a shotgun. I'm like, dog, I can't do it. So he takes me home. He goes, hey, Nando, don't do nothing stupid, all right? <laughs> so he, I, I leave, and I try to do something stupid, and I didn't. You used to talk to him, that guy? Yeah, he's my boy, dog. That's like, cool, then. You know? oh, yeah. But long story short, that 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 time frame happened. I I stopped selling weed. I'm like, dog, this shit. It, I'm about to fucking. I'm about to lose his apartment. I start getting into ecstasy. So I I, I found I I bought fifty pills and I'm selling them at the club for five bucks. Five bucks. This is my this was this was my mentality what at club the time. Is this? I'm gonna nice. sell these fifty for five. They're gonna say that is bomb, and then I'm gonna buy more, and I'm gonna up it. Cause people like good shit, yeah, and that's what happened. I went from fuck fifty to a hundred to five hundred half a boat to a thousand to a boat to a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, twenty. Boom! 
I went from living in that apartment. Bam, I had my own house at 19. Sheesh. Off of drugs. Yeah. Well, that, guys don't do that, though. Yeah. Don't, don't, doesn't, don't, doesn't happen don't, like don't that. Don't motivate all the time. that. That's, that's not the right way to do it, guys. <laughs> hey, we're, we're, we're still going, we're still yeah. going into okay. something. Yeah, yeah. Because, okay. hey, I'm going to tell you why you don't want to get like, to it. Like, sounds good, but. <laughs> yeah. anyway. It does sound good, yeah, but. I'm anyway. a house of a drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you get a house. And you get that's a house. how you get a house at 19. <laughs> no, I, I got my house at 19. So at that point, it's like everybody was bound to me. I felt like I had the whole world. Yeah. Man. And that shit didn't even last six, eight, seven, eight months, bro. I'm like, I'm getting ready for a kickback, you know? I just got rid of like 5,000 pills. I got like 10,000 left. I'm like, jeez. You know? And I got fuck. I got all the money in the room, all the guns, all the drugs in the same fucking room. The same room. Like a dumbass. Scarface pictures, fucking blow pictures, yeah. fucking everything, bro. I had the door open because I'm having a kickback. Boom. Fontana PD. Everybody put your hand. Oh, what the fuck? fuck? Fontana? Dog, I live in West Covina. The West Covina PD department and the West Covina courthouse was my backdoor neighbors. Oh, yeah, Fontana at your door? Fontana PD. Hmm. Dog. So they fuck. Boom. Lasers. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, I'm in my briefs. You know what's funny? When I went, I was locked up a lot of times before that. Probably about eight, ten times for a lot of months. I had, I still had the county white fucking boxers. <laughs> that's what I that's what I love to wear, yeah. even at home. So I'm in there going to my laundromat. I'm yeah. like, oh, I, I thought it was my homies. Yeah, shoelaces on your boxers. Everything, your pero. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was my homies because I had the door wide open. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I'm like, man, shut the f- Whoa, bam, damn. Then they got my baby mama, bro, this big-ass white girl. Gaffled her up. Boom. Wah. Then I have my nephews and some food I was picking up. I'm like, damn, bro. And then my cousin. Oh, I fell for my cousin. You know, and he he had all the cuetas in his fucking room. You know, I'm like, damn, bro. He, innocent man. I'm like, I took the blame for everything. Everything. I'm like, dude, my baby mama just moved in here. She don't know shit. My nephews, they don't even know I do this. My cousin just moved in here, checked the fucking bills, checked the receipts, and these fools just came to visit. So I took the rap for everything, even though they all knew what was cracking. And uh, bam, I get locked up, and they take me to county. I'm like, how the fuck? Who the fuck snitched on me? Yeah. Fontana PD? Why Fontana, though? You didn't get there. Oh, my. I get to county, going through processing, going through the loop. <clears throat> I see my, I see my roommate. So were you in West Valley at this time? No, Supermax. Oh, you, you, you LA you County. See- yeah. okay. Oh, okay. I you see, see my roommate. So I can- see my yeah. roommate. Bob. Bob's his name. It's Bob's Damn his name, it. and I still hate that fool to this day. It's my dad's name. Fucking Bob Schwab. Do you own a paint company? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so mad because he, well, he, so he told tell you. Us. Yeah, what, he told you. I Fucking s- Bob. I see him in there, bro, and he's just like this. And I'm in there. They're cuff. I'm like, Bob, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, Nando, you won't believe what happened. Oh, I'm like, wow. I'm ready. <laughs> I got time. Wait, I got time. Wait, I got time wait. to hear it. This is your roommate from where? My Bob. roommate for the last year and a half in my house. Bob Schwab. Okay, you so had... I, I, I owned a house. Three-bedroom right. house, two-bedroom bath, two-backyard, saltwater pool. I was living it, 19 years old, off of drug money. And that how, was my how, pet. And, but you would rent out the room. And he I lived with rent, you. And he lived with me. He would sell weed. All right, so what was his story? He so had to tell he you. fucked up. He got caught up, not me. Yeah. So this is what happened. I see him. I'm like, dog, what the? F- what are you doing here, perro? Oh, you won't believe what happened. <laughs> Sounding like Friday. Oh, here don't we go. Do it. Friday don't. after next. <laughs> no, hey. So I'm like, oh. I got all the time, dog, because I'm locked up, dog. You and him were in a dog pound in the back of it? Nah, we were still getting processed. Uh, I don't know how the- you wasn't processed yet, but I'm right here on this bench, and this motherfucker's right here. <clears throat> so I'm like, dog. He goes, come right off there. This is what happened. So when I left, remember that jar that I asked you for? I'm like, yeah. He goes, yeah. Well, as soon as you gave them to me, I pulled out of the driveway and this car pulls me over. 
Bob Schwab, I need you to pull over. I know where you live and I know what you have. So what did you do? He goes, well, I pulled over. I'm like, all right, cool. And what happened after that? He goes, well, they made me go to the Del Norte Park across the street. I'm like, all right. I'm like, wait, you called me. You called me and told me, like, hey, do you still have more of those pills? My friend liked them. I need another 10,000. I'm like, and I'm, boy, I'm, I'm fucking. Wait, he's admitting to you that he snitched right yes. there? Dog, let me finish. So I'm heating up. I'm heating up. I'm like, wait. He's trying to make it sound like a good story. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. And there's a fucking guard right there. So you never once thought in your mind, like, hey, I'm already caught up. Hey, my boy, flush that shit. Boom, hang up. Yeah. That's all you needed. You're already caught up. He goes, well, I have too much to live for. I... And I, as soon as the guards, bro, they, bam. I'm like, oh, this who's going to get gaffled up, dog, once he goes home. Because I know he's going to be a, he's going to be a bitch or a snitch. We're the same. He disappeared yeah. the next day. Bailed out. So I called my cousin up. I'm like, hey, dog, this is what happened. This, All the homies came, took everything, bro, you know? I want to say what happened, but things happened, and that was the last time I heard from that fool. You know? Rest in peace, Bob Schwab. <laughs> I'm just... You can say it. I don't give a damn. Oh. No. I was just joking, Dick. I don't know Bob Schwab. <laughs> All right, go on. Never heard so, of him. So, yeah, this fool, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, he disappeared, dog. Rest in peace. You know? And I seen him one day. Allegedly. Allegedly. Alleged, no, no, yeah, allegedly. At that time, I thought because my homies didn't tell me what happened. <laughs> what just, no, okay, we, no, no, no more Bob yeah. story. Yeah. No, but I seen him at a rave. Oh, so you're oh, alive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. How a close uh, one. So I killed I him there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but my but, but my boy, my boys, my boys, my boys convinced like, me. Uh, so I, I I seen this fool at a rave. I'm like, Tail? Richie? <laughs> Hey, hey. Hey, so I'm like, hey. But at the time, I'm like, I'm a little bit rehabilitated. Oh, you were saved already? Nah, not really. But I I had a little heart. I'm like, you know what? I understand where you came from, dog. But just know that you got jacked for a reason. You got jumped for a reason. You got pistol whipped for a reason. I'm like, you got what you got, dog. I'm like, I'm here. I'm I'm rolled out. I'm on E. But just know that you got me raided for thousands of pills, some guns. Thousands yeah. of money, and you you made me fight six years in prison, <laughs> my boy. So the homies couldn't oh, go, go back and Wait, get yourself How long there. did you do? So uh, I ran from it. I b- oh, shit. I ran from it for I'm three years. I'm a fugitive years. right now. <laughs> I was a few. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, time out. I know, we could have used a different name or something. No, I'm just playing. I was a fugitive. I faced it. I faced okay. it. Right, so this is what happened. Fuck. So I would look. Like, it's making me nervous. I know. No, like are we so, there? No, this? Th- this is what happened. No, no. Oh, we're live. No, no. All right. The bad boy. The bad boy. <laughs> the guy you guys interviewed two weeks ago. Get some. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're dealing with the right now. Sick. I was watching the show, by the way. Oh, man. No, this okay. is what happened. So. I had a I had a warrant in Orange County. I had warrants in LA County because of my DUIs. I had three DUIs. Wow. I have, All by uh, nineteen. No, eighteen, nineteen, and I got another one when I was twenty four. Wow. Okay. So I got baptized in two thousand twelve. I found God, and then I fell away from Him. And in two, when I was twenty four, I got another DUI. I have to ask you something real quick because we skipped over something. Yeah. But you mentioned having a baby mama. So I got two. So when did you have your first baby? I had my first. He's uh, nine now. But, like, what age did you have your baby? How do you do the math? I'm How old are you right now? 33. So you had, like, 26. 12. Oh, oh 12. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, you had it at 27. But 24. You had it I'm just saying because by the time. 24. 24. You, had you, 24. you said yeah. you got into your house at 19. Yeah. And then you had. So a, we split up. We split up. Wait, we, did we split? I just want to know what your feelings were when you had your first baby. Because you were I doing had all both that. kids and I still didn't give a damn. damn. I didn't give a okay. fuck. Cause you, yeah, Coca- I, I feel like you, know what love, you don't even know what love is at this point. I, I don't know right. what love is. Yeah. Cocaine, drugs, alcohol, women, prostitutes, strip clubs. That was my concern. Making wow. money. Yeah. So my kids didn't. They mattered, but they didn't. You know. So I, I had my kid, but they just it didn't make a difference. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And um, 
up until now, like now I'm 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 33 now and I'm older now and it's just like it's all part of God's plan. And we're gonna get into all that, you know. But yeah, you know, at that time it's just like what 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 do you do? You know, like you're being. It's crazy how God works. Fast forward into life, you know. We however you ask the questions how you want, but this is look. My mom, have you you know what well, you know what it means to be delivered? No. When you when when you go to church and someone's in the name of Jesus, I cast you out. Mm-hmm. Have you seen people? I've seen like, that. Thank yeah. And all that? That's what happened to me. Three times. One of the demons in my body told the pastor his mom sacrificed him as a kid to gain money and power. When he was born, oh, wow. that's Shit. what happened. So if you want to rewind back what I was talking about, when I'm like, when I, that's what happened. So since I was born, my mom sacrificed me as a. Yeah. And the oh, pastor wait, 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 mentioned wait, wait, wait. that that's, to you. That's fucking huge, right there. The demons inside of me. Yeah. The spirits inside the bad spirits inside me, bro. Chills. My I've been tormented since I was born, bro. Yeah. So you guys laughed and yeah. like, oh, when you were born, like, yeah, it, comes it's back. A, to it's it. a joke now. It's a, it's funny. I don't I don't mind it, but that's what happened. As soon as I was born, my mom sacrificed me to a santero. Fuck. Oh fuck. She sac. Fuck. That's fuck. And you know, and you know what's crazy that you did say that um. Cause I was because, in, because you said I got into Santeria, my boy. Did you really? Damn. I don't want to talk about. But when you said like how how the how they cast demons out, I mean, a lot of people that, that don't that ain't non-believers. But one time um, I was doing really bad. They, they're praying over me, and they said demons get out. And when they said that, I got scared. Like, hey, hold, hold on. Like, what <laughs> demons? The, the, the thing is, yeah. like, no, I get it. No, it's real shit. I, yeah. I, I watched real. one of your videos, though, but and you, you were talking what? about how, like, it, you had certain demons in you. The thing is, it's never going to happen to you yeah. until you're ready to fully surrender to Christ. Yeah. Sheesh. And you're not ready. Oh, you're not ready. I think I'm ready. You're I, not I, ready. I, I think I've been there, though. Like, rock, rock, hey, rock, rock. No. I love you. You're yeah. my boy. Thank you. No. Hey, th- this is... This is the truth and Holy Spirit right now. Uh-huh. You're not ready. Yeah. Um I been I like that's my relationship with God. Like no, I don't I, I, know, I don't I like know. I don't like, I don't, like listen with, with, all respect, this is, this is with all due respect but with all due respect with all due respect. This is what no didn't tell me about me and my God. Dog. I know, like but, a pastor, a priest, this, this whatever. Is what, this is what fucked but you me. Can't, but you this, can't tell me that though. No, but it's different that. demons no, and that's this, why some are harsher than others. I love you. But this is what fucked me up with. This is why I lost so many clients. 8,000 followers. Because of that, you know, are you ready? I'm not. I I, oh. I was ready. I lost faith. I lost faith. Why? We talked about it before. But ready for what? Like re- yeah. ready to be perfect? You're not gonna be perfect. I, I like so it, like so so when so when I got saved, I didn't want to get saved. Like the last time I got saved, like in 2016. But I was going to church. I was going to church. I, I was reading the Bible. I was going to church three times a week. But I always said, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not ready to get saved. I'm not ready to get saved. But you're never gonna get ready, bro. What you, is getting you're saved? You're never. You're never gonna be perfect. Like ever. A, a, a you're not gonna be perfect, bro. Like I'm not Christian. perfect, but my God's perfect. Like and that's why people say it's a narrow path, but it's not. A narrow, hey. it, it do. It's a, hey. it's, a, it's an impossible hey, path. I, I made a video on that. It's about, an impossible I, path. It's bro. not an impossible. It, hey. it, it for so sure look, is. I made a video on that about the narrow and the wide path. The Bible says. Many walk the wide path, but few walk the yeah, narrow see, road. Yeah, we all see right? that. Right? Few, few, few. Right? When Noah, when Noah was saved, few found God. Mm-hmm. Why? Because Noah built the ark. Yeah. Noah built the ark. Why? Because God said, hey, built this ark, bring two people. And tell the whole world, tell everybody, hey, repent. If not, you're going you're gonna to die. Everybody laughed at him until it started raining, and they seen it. They seen Bam! They were all dead by then, so it's it's this, it, it's in the same way. Yeah, it took it took him like a hundred years to build the art. No, no, my boy, no, no, yeah. no, no disrespect. Yeah. I'm, this is why I lost a lot of friends, yeah. a lot of clients, and this is why I didn't want to get into it right now, yeah. because I'm just talking about what the Bible says. Yeah. And when I was walking hard, that that that's where I'm at, where I'm at right now, you know, and ba- everything I went through, everything I went through, I went through it for a reason. I found God again. I found God again, right? Ten months ago. On my own. On my own. 
Now I have people messaging me on Instagram, texting me. Hey, you're on that podcast. You better talk about Jesus. You better promote Jesus. No, I'm going to talk about what I've been through. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to talk about, yeah. you're not going to tell sure. me who. This is your story, bro. This is For my sure. story, and I'm tired of people telling me what I need to do. Thank you. I'm tired of that, and I'm not trying to tell you what to do, yeah. but I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I was doing bad, and people are like, man, you're fucking up. You need to do good, Fernando. All right. Spencer, I'm going to do good. I get with God. Oh, f you're being too crucial. You're being too judgmental. You need to tone it down. You can never be Christian enough, bro. Yeah. Hey, exactly. And so it I'm ain't like, for everybody. Bro, all right, I'm going to tone it down. I fall off for three months, right? I fell in a dark place. I got back into my... I lost faith in God, bro. I lost faith in God because yeah. I held on. Why'd you lose faith in God? And this is just God, recently, though. right? This is recently, bro. Because I remember, like, I was seeing you, like, was, you was, were posting, like, crazy about posting, like, God. Crazy. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is going on? So, and then like, you just, I haven't seen shit. That is true. Is that when you you fell did, off? Did you Or what? Did, did you backslide? And it's okay. Everyone makes fucking mistakes. That's what I'm saying. For like, sure. We're, 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 you're, I'm not you're the not, best Christian. I'm glad we're not on a, like, you know, an actual and, church and podcast because I'm what, a piece of shit all the time. That's why I told homie when he first came bro, yeah. off the air. I go, bro, look, at, you're never going to be Christian enough. You're not or gonna perfect. be perfect. That that, yeah. that, that that narrow path that we talk yeah. about, it's like I'm gonna be. It's an impossible path. I know what you're saying, but Jesus is perfect, bro. We're, like we're we're human. We're not. And there's no, no one walking right. Yeah, there's right no. Now is I, think, perfect. I think yeah. I think I think that in the life you've been through, bro. Yeah. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. Sure. Don't be so hard on yourself. This is yeah. what was embedded in my brain, bro. Like, I agree. And I, I, I love you. you guys. Like, you guys are like at the end of the day. Like, I love you guys. But based on what the Bible says, bro, based on what it says, you can live your life how you want to. Run amok. Go ahead. That's for repentance tomorrow. But even a Bible is written by sinners. We're all so sinners. The, I, Bi I, the Bible says that's what, that's what I'm saying. The Bible says the Bible is written there, by sinners, so don't one. be so hard on yourself. That's I, what I'm telling I, you. I have to be. I have to be. Because crazy. Because somebody has to be. Because Jesus was hard on himself. Yeah. Jesus mm -hmm. lived the perfect life. And yeah. the Bible says, be perfect for I am perfect. Yeah. For if you live, if you say you live without no sin, right, you only deceive yourself, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, like, this, this is, oh, bro, this is hard for me right now. I know, not, not, now, look at, we're all proud of you. Everything you, know you, everything you came to, I got, you, I got, I got deliverance, right? Yeah. Demons came out of me. Yeah. People did brujeria on me. That's My cool. mom sacrificed me as a kid. Yeah. I had demons come out, bro, and I felt good. But, Spirit, the spirit realm is real, bro. Oh, 100%. do you believe it? A hundred percent. All right. So, do you do you think the spirits are lying to you about what you think? It what the Bible what, says? Are you, are you talking about good spirits or bad spirits? No, 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 no. Spirits are spirits. Bad spirits. No, I mean, I think the spirits do know you. I think demons. I think the devil so does and, know and, you. And the, the devil book, knows you, bro. In the book, in the book of Hebrews, okay. it says if you deliberately keep on sinning, yeah. right, and there's no more sin to sacrifice. Uh -huh. An expectation of fearful fire in hell is what awaits. What what does that mean to you? I mean, you're going to hell if you keep sinning. But then, in that case, everybody's going to hell. Look at bro. We don't have to get a debate about our beliefs in no, the no, Bible. No, no, We're no, here for your story. No, but that, like that, I have, I have. Look, at, I no, have my that, beliefs. That's my story. But I have my beliefs in my revelations. I know, but that's my story. I believe, I think we all go to heaven. Right. You know, I know you you don't, you don't doubt that, but that's from my thing. But that's and, the shit. But look, bro, that, that, that's what we're like, not in a biblical debate. No, no. We're just hey, hey, rock, right rock, now. rock. That's what messed yeah, me up. Yeah. That this is where I'm getting at. Yeah. These I, are I, the I, conversations I had with people. Look, dog. For the last three weeks, or not even three weeks, three months, I was doing coke. Yeah. Sorry, guys. And it bothers you to because I was I was sober, bro. I was sober celibate for ten months. And I, I turned my back on God, bro, because I, I felt like he wasn't there for me. And it hurts me because I, if I would have just hung out a little longer, the story would have been different, though, bro. Yeah. I went back to what I knew. And the devil, the devil comes back at you at what you know. He brings your past up. He wants you to do what you don't like to do so he can fuck you up and you can land in hell with him. But That's you know, you're, the uh, devil knows here, you. You're here for a reason. And this is this is my story. And I'm not trying to fight you, Rock. Yeah, I'm not trying yeah. to fight you, my boy. Yeah. You know, you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> no, we're here for you, bro. Yeah. We're here for you. I appreciate you guys for, you know, for this podcast. No, we appreciate hey, you. There's yeah. support here. You know what I mean? There's support here. This is this is what fucked my business up. This is what fucked my business up. 
You dipping back, you mean? No, no, not dipping back. Okay. I, strong. I started talking about what the Bible said. A lot okay. of Instagram, And, and right? when I start talking truth, people get offensive, people get defensive, people get mad, people get hurt because they're comfortable living in sin. And when you live in sin, you're blinded and your heart is black, right? And what you think is right is wrong. And I you start you. trying to argue with God and you start trying to make your own decisions when it's not God's. Yeah. Right? And when you start making your own decisions, you fuck your own life up. And when you die tomorrow, where are you going to go? Heaven or hell? You're not going to heaven. You're not going to heaven. You take a. If I were to take a fat ass line right now, which I want, but I'm not. If I take a fat ass line right now, no matter how much work I did for God, no matter how much sacrifices, I'm going to go to hell. I'm going to go to hell. That's the facts. That's the facts. Because Jesus Christ himself... Be perfect for I am perfect. But nobody wants to put that in their mind. Everybody wants to believe what they want to believe. So but the anybody, Bible says this and the Bible says that. And if you don't want to believe what the Bible says, then you're believing the devil's lies and the demon's lies. And that's where I'm trying to get out of so I can go back to where I was. Because I'm trying to go to heaven. So you believe any anybody that overdosed is in hell? Yeah. 100%. So your aunt's in hell right now? 100%. Wow. You know how many conversations I had with this? I can imagine, bro. I had chicks I would, oh, my dad died this and that. And yeah. I'm like, you know what? As much as you wish he was in heaven, Jeez. he's in hell. And that's why I hurt you so much. And yeah. that's real. It, it, this is why I take my anger out. Not on you. people. Not no. on people. No, yeah. you're just passionate, bro. That's, that's, that's what you want. This is, this is the truth. Yeah. This is the truth. This is your life. You yeah. kill yourself on some dumb shit. If I were to die these last three months, I try to kill myself again off of coke. Of alcohol, I went to the canyons, the Zuzu canyons, yeah. right? If I were to die, no matter how deep I was with God, where am I going to go? I'm going to go to hell. I'm going to go to hell. And right now, I'm trying to do the best that I can to get myself back out of that. I'm trying to find myself back to God because this world is nothing without God. And if you have, you do not have God in your life, you have nothing in your life. You have the devil in your life telling you lies, how to make you fall. The man may fall seven times, but he will get back up. And I have faith in all you guys to get back up. We have faith in you. I For love real. That. I appreciate that. For real. Man, I know, no, it's all, but the, but this I know is, you felt some type of, I feel like you felt some type of judgment for a, like a, for a minute. but You know, it wasn't judgment. It was just like, I, I changed my life so drastically. And mm -hmm. you're right to an extent. I just wanted everybody. Just know that we're all on the same page here. No, no, you know I, I, mean? I just wanted everybody to feel God's love. This is Absolutely. why it was hard for me to come here. Yeah. When I got here, I said, yeah, hey, did. Rock, I, I got to take a piss. And I've been trying to get you here for like a year already, yeah. probably. I got, yeah, it's yeah, been a while. I got, I, it it's was a, hard. Yeah. I got to take a yeah. shit like I'm nervous. Like, <laughs> yeah. I even told people before I can. Like, hey, it's not easy. We're going to have to do, now. we're, we're going to do a part two. Um, I just want to, I think, bro, let's know that we do love you, bro. And, and we thank you for coming on here. Like it was. And I mean, we're definitely not. We definitely do need a part two. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. There's more. There's more. There oh, is. That's right. We know two. there's oh, more. Sure. Can, we, can we say where you're at right now and where you plan to be next? This is where I'm months. at right now. This is where I'm at right now. I have. I can tell you're. Pa I love it. I'm passionate about God. I think yeah. you're passionate about everything you do. Period. Every. I'm hundred. You said yeah. it. You said you don't do one foot or one foot yeah. out. Like no, you're you all don't. the way and in. You, yeah, that's dope. Yeah. There. And as you should, because <laughs> yes. you know what, you Too made it. Hey, you've hey, made it this hey, far. For I have plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future. Who said that? Someone on Friday. <laughs> I thought it was a commercial. <laughs> Rocky, <laughs> to go back to school. I don't know that. I'm sorry, bro. Tell us. Jermaine Dupri. Come on, tell it's us. In the, it's in the Bible. Oh, oh, tell us. For I have plans not to pro not to harm you, but to prosper you and give you hope in the future. That's in the Bible. I believe it's hey, in the Bible. I don't know who said good. it, though. Sounds, sounds. Hey, but God has a plan for all Wait, of us. Wait, who said it? For sure. It, 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 this, is, this is how it, 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 it's ordained. Yeah. This is how it's ordained. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hurt trying to find my way back to him. Sure. I appreciate hey, this podcast. We're, hey, we're here for you, dude. On you some know? real shit, like we're not, we're not those friends at the canyons. Like on some real shit, you have my yeah. number. For real, uh, just you, hey, you've been there up, for bro. me since day one, bro. Yes, you, bro. Hey, you've been there. Thank you. You man. know, but I don't mean to condemn you guys or not at all, no. bro. bro. Hey, bro. You, hey, bro. Hey. I grew up. My, my brother had his car with me a lot of times. <laughs> where I be drinking a beer, my brother got my bro was just like you. My brother's one. He's not one foot out, one foot out. Like. He's either in prison or he's at church. Hey, There's no hey. either or. So, no, this is, bro. I, 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 I know that you're passionate, bro. I know you guys got to end this, but look, 
I'm going to say this right now off record. No, it's on no, it's record. On, the record. Oh, on record, right? <laughs> right. Hey, We're recording. Hey, hey, I, sit, be you right here. Go no, talk, hey, to, yeah. no, talk no, to the people. No, this, ahead, this is gonna. Hey, I don't message. want people to hate me. No one hates you, bro. But look, me, I'm I'm hooked. I'm hooked, yes. right I'm hooked on prostitutes, cocaine, and liquor. So during these times, I I I needed love. I needed affection, because my my page is business. I can't. I can't reply to you bitches that hit me up. I can't message back you bitches that hit me up. I, I I can't do that. So what do I do is I I hit up these hoes that don't give a fuck about themselves and they want to give themselves for money and keep shit secret, right? So I'd get coked out with you motherfuckers. i drink and... There, 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 there's, a, there's an objective. I'm going to fuck these hoes. I'm going to fuck these bitches. But the minute they step into my house, every fucking time, I'm talking about God. That's right. No matter how coked out I am, next thing you know, I ain't getting laid, I ain't getting shit, I'm still <laughs> celibate. No, that's that's no, the that's truth. That's crazy because you you, I, ha you had a vision that you're gonna yeah. you're gonna fuck. No, and after no, that happen. that's the truth. Yeah. So to this day, you know, I found one person that I'm cool with. All right, Mel, Swell, Dell, whatever, you know. But look. It's just that 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 that's what happened, bro. Yeah. And I cock blocked myself, bro. And it's just I try to tell everybody the gospel, even if I'm fucked up, coked out, or whatever, yeah. bro. And they're gonna hear it one day. Eventually, they're gonna face reality, and they're gonna be like, "Do you know what? I remember this fucking weird motherfucker named Fernando, Mister Olympia. <laughs> yeah. He talked to me about God. You, you plant the seed. You plant the seed. It's all. It's all. Look." He when, paid me two hundred a fuck, and he just talked about God. No, more like a, more, 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 more like a thousand or fifteen. You, you did like I, uh, upscale. <laughs> oh, yeah. all, you, all you need is a mustard seed, hey, but bro. Look, 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 look. It. It, if you put a rock in the ocean, it makes a splash. Yeah, that's all you need to do, bro. Exactly. And that's what I did because I I, I feel sorry for these women, yeah. bro. I felt sorry for them, and I was always that guy. What my my boys over here like? Oh, I'm gonna fuck this. Man, let's pick. I'm just like, you don't gotta do this. You deserve <laughs> better. I was that guy. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was that guy. Oh, you were copying your friends too. You know, oh like, bro, God. I felt bad for these women, dog. Hey, oh I'm being God. real. I mean, no, that's crazy. I'm like, I'm women, inviting you to the party. Women, women shouldn't have to put themselves through that, bro. Amen. Yeah. yeah even right, though, you're right, bro. Even though I'm pain, there I am. Like, dude, you don't gotta do this. Like, you know, God loves you. You know, Mary Magdalene. Like. So then I would just start talking about yeah. the Bible and like cock block myself, but that's who I am, bro. You know, I have respect for women, even you don't though my mom for nobody, even bro. though my mom had no respect for me. But I grew up, all my fucking girlfriends, baby mamas, whoever I was engaged, I had no respect for women. But when it comes to these hookers and these women, these strippers, yeah. I have respect for them. Why? Because they're in that industry because they need love, bro. They need love. They, they need to know that they're respected. Yeah. Why are they going to fucking sell their pussy for money? They shouldn't have to do that. And you know what? They probably like, Fuck. it's crazy because. No, no, I'm being, I'm being no, no, for no, real. No, no, but a, 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 a lot of Christians. It's not about no, Christians. No, but I'm just saying in general, like people, like a church will, will preach not, in the hey, choir. They're, you're, they're, you're out there in a the gutter. Like, they probably haven't heard the Christian word in years. My boy, years. exactly. Look, That's what they're, you're doing. they're not going to find a yeah. tattered ass food tongue. That's what like, I mean. That's yeah, what I mean. God loves me? Yeah. That, that was when me. When last time they heard that? That was me. Yeah. I have love for women, dog. No matter how much I was done dirty by my both of my moms, I have love for women, dog. And women don't deserve to be mistreated like that. No, bro. No, no. That's the truth, that's bro. Good. That's, that's the truth. Hey, I don't care what guys say. You guys can hate me. Yeah. Women don't deserve to be in strip clubs, to be on fucking Holt Figueroa or in San Bernardino or on fucking Craigslist or whatever. They, they, they don't, my boy. And that was me trying to disrespect them. And the minute I would bring them over, hey, you know God loves you because I was coked out. I was coked out. Women don't deserve that, bro. I cock blocked myself, you know? But that, that, that's the truth, bro. God loves all you guys. And you know what? Jesus Christ says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. No do one comes to, to the Father. Two? You agree to part two? We got to. We got to do a no, part two. You have to agree to a part two. I got a lot more to say. That's I know why. you do. That's why. No, it's a part two. All right, guys. We I are, mean, we're two was, hours deep. We're two hours deep. Um, thank you Dude, for yeah. being Amazing. here, Papa. That was, that was, that was
I mean, you gotta be by far my, my favorite guest. The wildest, for <laughs> sure. sure. Hey, I, haven't, dope, I, I haven't even got started. I mean, know. We're two hours go. into we, it. We gotta do a couple bumps right now. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> he <laughs> it's a joke. Real it's quick, real quick, quick, before we end, because I'm kind of curious. I, maybe you talked about it and listen, but. Are you single? Your, 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 your mom, um, your biological mom, is she she's still alive to this day, or you, she says she's not alive anymore? I don't know, bro. I know my other mom's dead, but don't ask me that. We can get to I that know. another time. All right. For sure. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure you follow the homie Fernando Vasquez. If you need to lose weight, personal training, he's the man to go to, guys. You want to mm -hmm. send love, support, all that. Make sure yeah. you subscribe. We are Share. And Please you guys, are, are you okay taking DMs and helping people out if they, like, for God and all that? Yeah. Yes. Hit him up, guys. He's